This new music uh, channel is kind of lit, low key. Cool, 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 cool. Who we got in chat? We got CC in chat. We got uh, Alpha, and we got uh, Facel. What is good, guys? What is good? How y'all doing? How are we looking this morning? How, is it, how are we all doing? Dang it, I didn't fill up my water before stream. Guys, called this out to the elites today. Got stomped out by one pip. You guys saw it all over my freaking uh, Instagram story. Big deal for me today. I love getting stomped out like this on oil, especially when we expect this to happen on oil. Normally, I count for it on my stop loss. I was moving at the speed of light this morning. Guess we didn't uh, take that into account. But as you guys can see, um, one big thing I like to take note of on oil um, is that we do grab liquidity, right? But we don't test lows. Instead of um, oil likes to do something a little bit different, which is it slightly breaks below previous lows and then takes off, right? And then you'll normally get a confirmation that it's going to do so. After that five minute closure it gives you a nice beautiful wig and a nice solid closure to the upside um actually in this case like potentially it could happen here as well too which i was just telling the members um you know liquidity broke uh it grabbed liquidity broke the lows coming out of five minute demand and then this last five minute candle right gave us a nice bullish indication now if you guys were thinking about entering something like this right in order to account for like um you know, like, let's say, let's say we have to break these lows, right? We should account for that. Oops. So let's account for that. Let's do this. Let's just drop it down right over here. All right. And then you guys can go and target these highs. And then you're at like a one to one, one to one and a half. Something super simple, right? Obviously, I think I was trying to aim for the better risk to award, uh, but it wasn't needed, right? Oil is a pair that it will treat you very, very nice as long as you give it room to breathe. That's just based off of what we've been studying and how we've been approaching it. Uh, the analysis on US 30. This is my US 30 analysis. Kind of like overlapped where I was looking for my stops. Yeah, though. So at this point, uh, we're really just waiting to break uh, 34, 143 and get closures above there. So until then, I wouldn't be looking to like enter any type of buys. Um, I took buys off of this yesterday. I took a small little move. I was just trying to swing trade and hold it, but it didn't play out. So I got slumped out at break even. Um, but we did one of my personals. I did flip this. Um, where was my edge? I got uploaded it yesterday. It was like 150 or 250 pip move. So it's from 3410. Wait. So from 34 to 10. So 34 to 10. Yeah, so I broke the I took this down. On my personal yesterday. I wrote this down, I got stomped out and break even about here. Went about 174 pips in profit. I got stomped out at 106. So I was chilling on that. OG here, Alfano, what's good? What's good? How we doing? Uh, doing great, just came home. Love to hear it, bro. Just in time for the stream. Uh, looks like gold is pushing up, by the way. Hope you're doing good, broski. Um, have you looked at GU? I have not looked at GU yet today. And then Afe, what is good, my dude? How are we all doing today? Um, let me just put in the... I just got to put in that elite membership thing and pin it to the top real quick. And then also, if you guys haven't already liked the stream, go ahead and like the stream. I love that YouTube algorithm. Elite membership. All right, sick. Yeah, Steve, this this uh, this week was rough for me, brother. I, I don't know if it was just me. I You said you got chewed up yesterday, but like this whole week has been rough for me. Or at least the last two days prior, for sure. 
And with all the news today, I was like, yeah, we're just gonna have fun today. We're just gonna chill, we're gonna vibe. So that is pinned up there. That is up there. What else we need? What else we need? One more thing, boys. Uh, good day. Hope you've been uh, blessed so far. What's up, Crusader? I'm going to hit you up uh, right after stream two so we can uh, get that call in. I was looking ratchet. We got that. We got our oil trade. So oil. Um, again, guys, I do feel confident in oil. Uh, and most of it being is this. That we have these two highs here, right? And they're still technically gap up at like 91. Technically 91.60, but we could just say these lows at like 91.54. Uh, do you trade funded or personal? Um, I'm in the process of getting funded. Uh, that's what we're doing. Uh, that's kind of what I document on the channel for the most part. And I do trade my own personal capital. So like the US 30 trade that I was talking about from shorts from here, um, you know, that wasn't a trade I called it out to the elites or anything. It was just an own, own personal trade. I just kind of felt like I've been in a funk recently. So I wanted to take something for myself and just kind of like recenter a little bit. This one helped build some confidence. But then again, like, you know, we did get stomped out today, but like the confidence was still there just because of Getting stomped out by one pip. I can't be upset at that. Instead, like, I need to take that as, like, fuel for the fire. Meaning, like, bro, we could literally... We could literally just... Learn from this. And no, like, oil needs to have a little bit bigger stop loss. But even if you know that it's going to push in the other direction. Because we have to expect those breaks of the lows. To grab liquidity and then push. Oh, there it is. There it is, Wacky. I told you, my boy. I told you. We read oil like a book around these parts. <laughs> not bad. That's not bad, bro. It's the pineapple. That's the pineapple. Um, What's better, funded or personal? <sighs> so, like, I think funded has, like, very good, um like opportunities right but like you're always gonna be it's always gonna be the best to trade your personal you have the most flexibility you're gonna be able to withdraw when you want you're gonna be able to trade with your own rules like nobody's really like holding like a like a microscope over your head um and really just like looking down on you to see what you're doing you know there's a lot less pressure if you will in my own personal opinion trading my own personal capital uh, but that could just be with the years of extreme right uh, funded is better. We can enter in heavy lots. I mean, that's what I mean. Like, there's opportunity there. There is opportunity. But at the same time, like, how many times, uh, how many times, you know, you fail a challenge before you actually get funded? And then when you get funded, are you actually making to that payout stage? You know, I was talking to one of the members of the Discord, and it's like, they've been funded so many times, but never reached it to that payout stage. And that's kind of like when we have those questions where it's like, well, like, how are you getting to the funded account, right? Like, are you doing it the right way? Are you doing it the same way that you would trade in the you know, in the challenge phases, right? Are you trying to trade the same way you traded the challenge phases, uh, which might not be the most most ethical way, right? Um, I'm early. What time do you start stream? Uh, 7.30. Like, literally, we just started right now. Literally just started. Uh, but by the way, guys, if you guys haven't already smashed the like button, go ahead and smash the like button. Help out with that YouTube algorithm. And uh, yeah, guys, so relax, have a good time. We're going to look at crypto today. We're going to look at all of our pairs today. Whatever you guys want to do, we're going to have a good time. Um, we're just going to vibe, mark up charts. It's going to be more of like an education day. That we can kind of just give back to the community, have fun, um, and really just enjoy each other's company. How fast are the withdrawals with Hanko? Um, they're not too bad, man. Um, I always I always say just withdraw monday through wednesday if you with, if you put a withdrawal request in on thursday you're not going to get with the withdrawal until monday and you might have to resend it on monday 
Uh, that's the only issue I've ever had with Hanko Trade. Um, but other, like it's easily fixed, right? And I just think it's like the number of people they have working for them. Like they take their, like everyone tries to push in their withdrawals on like Thursday, Friday, and they get they get overbooked, right? And then so they don't get to everyone. <sighs> but yeah, like I said, the only time I ever had that issue was when I when I tried to withdraw. I think it was either Thursday or Friday. And um, my deposit ended up coming in Monday. Uh, check UJ. It seems like BOJ. I also need to check uh, check uh, GU. That was one of the first ones. Somebody wanted to look at. By the way, guys, my st my streaming software has been messing up. So like. The music choices for the day are very slim because I can't view like the actual tile that tells me what music is going to be playing and there's probably about 30 of them. So it's like a guessing game. So I at least landed on Synthwave, you know, which is a little like, got some vibes to it, right? It's, it's not too, too shabby. So we're vibing on that today. I need to go back to the four hour real quick. I'm really skeptical on this being able to hold right here. I'm really skeptical on it. Is it possible that it does? Absolutely. I mean, this daily candle doesn't have a wick on top. Um, and then, like, if you look at the four hour, the four hour formations are looking decent right now. I think you would need the confirmation of this four hour candle to close, but that's not going to happen until two hours and, you know, 15 minutes. But I think once you get that closure, I think this is a good candlestick formation out of these three candles um, that potentially is going to allow us to then push. Um, and hold that daily structure point. But if we don't hold that daily structure point, and like let's say this far closes like down below, most likely we're gonna play this range down into like one one two zero zero eight five, right? Which is a very very big range. I don't even know how many pips. Uh, it's almost a two two seventy pip range. Um, journey from five hundred to ten thousand. That, that that is a good journey. That is a good journey. Oil needs to take out that uh, 845 low, then I'll feel confident going long. I know 500 to 10k sounds super crazy, guys, but once you start getting up into like, like you turn that 500 into like, let's say like 2500, it's actually like, not too bad after that because then your risk like you're you're slowly compounding the risk right so like your one percent at fifth like five hundred dollars is going to be a lot different than your one percent at you know like um 5k right and then sorry so let's look at uh this 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 actually looks decent for shorts, in my opinion. Um, we are at a four hour supply. We're falling off very aggressive from the four hour supply. And there's some clean imbalance down in those lows. See. They were in there. 15 here. We might get some type of reaction to the outside slightly. All right. So I'd look at this. Go here, and then I'd potentially see if we can go and close that imbalance there. Um, yeah, yeah, for sure. Can you demonstrate on how to take partials? I see your gold trade performed well, but then reversed. Yeah. So, um, actually, I can't really demonstrate how to take partials right now. But basically, when you're in MT5, you're going to see your little order at the bottom, right? And you're going to see the area where it says profit, and you see all the numbers fluctuating or whatever. Um, on that specific order that you want to take partials on when you're content with, you know, where you're at, all you do is double click it and then it will have an area where it says volume, right? And let's say you put a one lot on that and you want to close out half your position. 
what you do is you change the volume from being a one lot and you put 0.5 and then you press close and then what it does is it closes half that position or if you guys want to make your life super easy you just hit a pair of magic keys and you do it at a click of a button so this is kind of what i'm looking at for uh uj potentially today we'll see if we can get that if we can get that um and then let's look at add apy So this is the one that has like is this the one that reached all time highs out of the J all the JPY pairs? I forget. So for me, I'm this one this one to me looks a lot better just for like straight bullish momentum. I'm not looking for any like retracements back down or anything like that. Uh this one looks really solid coming out of where it's at. Let's go to the five real quick. Because we're in at one hour demand right now, so we, we're pushing pretty aggressively here, and we do have 15 more minutes for this to close. Um, I don't really like how that 15 looks, to be honest. Five's okay. Yeah, like all lower time frames are looking as good, but the hour time frame does look pretty decent that it's going to continue to buy. But it just depends if we're going to find stability in the hour demand here. But again, it just looks a little choppy. We got our first initial push out of here, but then look at this current one, right? We're kind of flipping bearish right now. Uh, Euro odd. Put my water real quick, guys. Euro odd and then USC chef. I'll do when I get back, okay? No, 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 not two hours. We have to do some else real quick after this, but like I said, let me take care of their odd first and we'll take care of USD Chef. Um, oil's just looking beautiful, Steve, uh, right now. We do have two minutes for this five minute candle to close. It doesn't have a bottom, like that's a little suspect, but at the same time, like it is oil. And on the lower time frames, like because it moves so fast, it might not need that bottom wave. So Euro odds in a cool place right now in terms of scalping, right? And I say that because we got breaks above this like area here, right? Closures. And now we're getting a retest of uh, three minute demand, right? So this is smaller time frame change of character. This is a retestment of that change of character. So we're going to see if we can get that continuation. Uh, so what you could do is you could look at this on the three minute, wait for some bullish momentum to come into this and close, right? With a rejection wave on the bottom bullish momentum up top and then what you do is you take your break of structure line right and wherever that candle closes as soon as the next one opens if it opens and goes bullish or whatever the case is if it creates this bottom weight first that's even better but as soon as you get that bullish flip and that continuation of momentum that's when you would hop in um and you would just target like stops like this and then you can kind of make your decision where you want to take it um, i'd probably you're odd look at some uh, it's almost a full one to two yeah, so it's respecting that demand zone pretty nice so i like that um usd chef's a cool pair i feel like usd chef's really really good for like swing trading 
don't know why. I had a swing trade up on this thing for ever. I think it was down at these lows. No, actually, take that back. What was it? Yeah, it was. Uh, no, I think I, I think I had like a swing from these lows, and we took it up to here. And we had that swing trade up there for a while. I think it was like two weeks or something like that. Let's uh, let's break this down. Let's see what we can find. Let's see what it's gonna tell us today. Uh, by the way, guys, if you guys are looking for signals and things like that, and you do want to join the elites, you guys can go ahead and do exclamation mark Discord. I'll get you guys that link. If you guys have any questions about the elite Discord, um, I'll be here to help you guys out. Um, like the bar is kind of. Okay, um, so it was an hour for a value gap play, obviously we did in on that, but if we are gonna be that bullish, then let's see how this hour candle closes, right? Because if we're gonna close bullish, testing these highs again, but then we can come over here and we could look at like the lower time frames. And, like, maybe. So if we close bullish coming up into supply here, we're breaking it. I would just, you know, I might just wait for a smaller time frame pullback, right? Get something coming out of like one of these new demands that gets created on these lower time frames. And then potentially, you know, hop in for those scalps. Uh, Goku was good. What about US 30? US 30? Still kind of consolidated down in this range. I'd say it's like a, pr it's been pretty low volume because I've been watching US 30 like all of London session been pretty low volume the entire time and actually i'm surprised on a friday like this it's actually been this low volume as well it gave us a little movement but nothing too crazy um and then somebody said gu yeah like like shorter time frame I like scalp sells, I think. Like I said, it's just kind of like a... Like for this one, I want to see the 4-hour candle like hold, right? Because we are, like for GU, we are at a key level where potentially we can consider this liquidity grab, right? And then if this daily candle closes like above 22, 22.750, um, you know, you're closing above good structure, meaning like you can have... I want to make sense. I was going to say break and retest, but it kind of already gave you a retest here. Maybe it is time for it to fall off, right? And then we want to take note of like where our daily supply is. Go to the four hour, right? Good consolidation up there. So if we do end up holding like this four hour, like if you're going to look for cells in terms of like you want to fill the imbalance down to like uh, one, two, zero, zero, eight, five, like we saw down here. I think the best way to do that would be cheering for buys for the short term to get us up into this area and then potentially on like monday or tuesday probably like monday or tuesday um you know you might see that negative reaction out of this supply here and then you can get that even better entry to kind of get in on the position um you know at the best rate if you will oops bbp nzd done um, how do I use moving averages? So I only use one moving average. I use an SMMA 200 uh, close. And that one is just used, it's used for a little bit of confluence. Like I like if it closes above, if I like aggressive reactions off of it on the lower time frames. Um, I use it more on the higher time frames for like structure, meaning like I need it to close above or below. Um, and then I feel a lot better about entering a position, um, you know, using that in. I just use it with my other stuff, right? It, like if it's not there, it's not there, but it's not really that important to me in terms of, you know, basing an entire trade setup just off of it, you know? Oh, what well, is it EP and CD. Um, let me look back at Euro odd real quick for you. So like my idea with Euro odd is this, right? So 
it didn't do what I wanted to in terms of like holding, you know, structure here or getting any type of reaction from there. So then the next place that I would look at it, this. This is the bottom of the range. So this is the only thing that we could do is wait for this to be tested now, right? Because potentially you get some ugly double top formation. Like it would be an absolutely atrocious double top formation, but it does look to be playing out right now, uh, which is fine. So now the next reaction we need to wait for is this, right? And then you can go ahead and look for potential lungs coming out of this zone now, right? Depending on what reaction you get. And you target lows below your demands lows. And then you would just play it like that, right? Um, what was the other one I was gonna check? G, Q, P, N, Z, D. D. I think this is another good uh, swing trading pair. This is one that the person who taught me, they like to trade like N, Z, D pairs like this. But anytime I see pairs that like he trades, uh, I always, I always immediately just go into my mindset of like, okay, it's probably a good, it's probably a pretty good swing trading pair. Uh, this is definitely a really nice looking range um breaking these lows okay i really do like it this is definitely clean traffic up above we get that okay so we don't want this to close how it currently is um you know i don't want it to close like that and that's just because if it closes like this this could be like an evening star right and then that means that we're going to get a bunch of bullish momentum up into these highs here and then we would fall continue the overall trend Right, so you get this, they don't like that, okay? Um, now, if it breaks into this range, that's a whole nother story, right? Like if you get four hour closure in here, um, you know, potentially we come back up, we retrace, um, you know, up into this area um, and we'll be good, right? Or, you know how I said, we wanna fill this imbalance. This thing could just continue to fall all the way down into these lows of like 2041N. You adjust the arrows for you guys real quick what i'm talking about whoa 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 need you as this type of arrow today okay thank you this one this would expect you know price to break and just continue to fill this range All right because we do know that we have found really really good structure here i would even be bold enough to say like liquidity could be grabbed anywhere from like these this little range like the top of the this high here and these wicks okay you know, so if you get a wick to smash down here, but closure is here, I would expect a really, you know, nice turn of bullish momentum for the short term, right? And then the continuation of the shorts after that to get into this clean traffic, because there's still, there's still ways to go down, right? But we got to, we got to think in probabilities of like, how overextended is the market right now? What are the probabilities of price actually doing for, what is this, uh, 12 hours, we've already been very bearish and we're, we're going on 16 hours bearish. Um, is it possible? Absolutely. You know, you can't count anything out. Um, if you guys remember, I think it was US 30 yesterday. Let me give it a glance one more time. Okay. Yeah, so US 30 yesterday. Two days ago. Hour. It was this. Okay, cool. So this was interesting, okay? Um, this is on the hour time frame. All right, I want you guys to let's count how many candles you guys see bullish together, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen hours of bullish momentum. Okay. Um, I tried my best to find another move like this to kind of study US 30 and see if that's like a normal occurrence. <coughs> and it is not. 13 hours is out of the ordinary for sure. Um, on US 30. I think the closest one I got to, I think, was about nine hours of bullish momentum. All right, so we got like one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I mean that was eight. And then that's just kind of something that I noticed. But anyways, I'm getting sidetracked here. Um hopefully this hour camera closes like this. It's looking really good for some bullish momentum on uh USC. Or sorry, US30. Um when could I sell CAD JPY? I have a sh one short at 10 thing. And then maybe back up. Um let me see. That CAD JPY. You already have a sell in from 1103. Okay, that's a good that's a good one. So if you have like a position like that, right? And let's say you're you're risking one lot. I'm just gonna use hypothetical numbers, okay? If you got in at three, uh 1103, and you now you're risking one lot, 
what I would do is let this thing just keep falling. I wouldn't worry about a re-entry or anything like that. What I would do is I'd go to the smaller time frames, like a 15 or a five. And I just want to understand where like my possible supplies are, right? So if I delete this, okay, then I'm going to look at this right here, okay? Because this is newly created supply. All right, so where I don't really care where it finds stability. Most likely it'll find it kind of where it's heading right now because that is demand, okay? So if it finds stability there or finds stability here at this 200 MA, uh, perfect, just let it do its thing, right? Let it do its thing and wait until we get up into here because you're still in for sales, right? You could take partials down here if you want to, right? And then what you could do is when you come up, if you're risking one lot at that 10-3 level, well, now you could risk 0.5 over here at this level, right? Because you always want your heaviest position to be on top. You don't want your, any... You don't want any of your lower positions to ever be below where you're trying to stack orders. Um, all that's going to do is eat away at your profits relatively, well, not relatively quick, super, super quick. Um, you know, and then all of a sudden you take a winning trade, like a super, super good winning trade. And because you got greedy, um, you know, you create a very, very big disastrous mess for yourself. And now you take the probabilities of the trade being a winning trade and you literally like cut them in half. Right. So if you had like an 80% probability, well, guess what? Now you have a 40% probability because you put the trade under more press and uh, more press, more stress and more pressure than it really needed to be put under. Um, the Ridge, what's good, man? How are we doing today? We're chilling, dude. We're chilling. Hope everyone's doing good out there today. Uh, Gira GBP, absolutely, guys. And you guys got to remember, you might not get much action on a lot of these pairs today. And I'll tell you why is because of all this, like from eight o'clock yesterday, <laughs> from eight o'clock yesterday, all the way up until 645 today, we've had red folder news. Hey, that's, that's insane. Okay. So definitely keep that in mind. Like if we don't move much on a Friday, like we'll be, we'll be chill. We'll be chill because there's just been an absolute crap load of news. Okay. And that's going to cause the market to be super exhausted overextended and it's going to make it feel like it just ran a marathon which it did right so in the, in most markets um gosh EJ is that no man every the more i look at forex pairs the more i just i'm kind of drifting away from them um just in terms of market structure because you get a lot of these like uh like here like this guys I, like, I just i don't know i just don't like this stuff you know takes half of the half of the volume out of that last candle and then boom this one you know breaks the highs and then you immediately get a wipeout candle and then boom you get one breaking up above and then you get one down and then it's like they're all very even candles when making a directional switch um you know so like i wish it was more of this but you get a lot of this on forex pairs Um, it's a crazy week. Friday is chilling, which is normal. Yeah, it's been a crazy week, bro. It's been tough for me, man. It's been tough for sure. Oh, by the way, um, I want to let everyone know I'm gonna host a little one day boot camp with you guys uh, this Sunday. So we'll we'll go we'll do our normal um, Sunday exclusive live stream for the elite members, and then once we're done with that, we're gonna jump straight into um, like a boot camp format. If you guys were here for the first boot camp, if you're in the elite uh, Discord, you guys are gonna know exactly what I'm talking about. It's gonna be free of charge to all my elites. So again, if any of uh, any of you guys want to join the elites and get ready for that Sunday live stream, um, you know, for, for the outlook of the week, and then go into like a back testing session where it's gonna be more of like a boot camp um, where you guys can understand and learn how I'm gonna back test, right? After having a losing week, how am I gonna come back and back test? Um, I think it's gonna be a great learning opportunity. The videos will all be uploaded in the bootcamp as well. Um, the bootcamp tab in the elite section for you guys right over here. So now you guys will have more data to kind of digest um, things off of, right? Um, and you guys get all these other perks too. So, I mean, if you guys are looking for like boot camps or anything like that, and you guys wanna get a solid foundation in your trading, um, and you think that, you know, my trading style is for you, um, joining the elite group is gonna have you guys take care of that. And then you get all these other perks, right? So like I said, we're gonna, you're gonna get access to the Sunday exclusive live streams where I go over my hard time frame analysis. Um, this Sunday exclusively, we're gonna be able to do um, another boot camp at the end of that. And we'll probably stay live for about two, three hours, maybe even four hours, just depends how much back testing we're gonna do. Um, and then, uh, you know, we'll move on with our days, but then the recording will be up there for you guys. That way we can um, 
you know, make sure all the new members are taken care of as well. And you guys get your daily analysis. The idea with this is that when I send these out, you guys are going to be able to digest what you're seeing. And, um, you know, if they aren't fully adapted yet, you guys are going to be able to, um, or fully, fully formed yet to enter the trade. You guys will know what to wait for now because you, you know, watch the boot camp and you understand. Um, like I said, guys, last two days have been pretty rough for me. So our new record, we did take two L's today as well, is now 39 and 17. And then as, I don't know if you guys could see this or if it's cut off, that's kind of cut off. Um, I just said both of these were stomped out tonight, guys. We're now 39 and 17. This has been a rough week for me. I'm going to host a small boot camp this weekend for you guys to show you how I'm going to get, um, how I'm going to back test and get locked in for next week. I'll let you know more info in the morning and then good night, everyone. Because I traded London session last night. Um, so yeah, guys, if anyone's interested in that, all you guys got to do is click the top link in the chat or you guys could do exclamation mark discord and then follow the discord link. And then Steve, I feel it, bro. Uh, can we do it around this time? Um, Sunday is so late. Yeah, we'll do it on a uh, we'll do it on Saturday then. We'll do it on Saturday because I'm gonna be at church. That's why Sunday is a lot later. Um, but yeah, all the um, we'll do it tomorrow morning then for like the boot camp. How to hold winning trades? When I'm on a winning trade, I close it within one to two candles. Well, if you're if you're not feeling confident in the trade and you want to close it that quick. What you could do is you could just look at um you could look at securing and floating right that's why i you know preach to all my members and things like that which is pretty cool oil didn't hold that area i was waiting it i was looking for it to do so let's just watch and see how it reacts guys the re-entry was not valid I wanted to be valid but look at this huge gap down there um, let's see, secure and float. So, sorry, I'll go a little bit more in depth for you. I felt like that was a pretty broad explanation. Um, but basically what I'm saying is that like, if you're in an area where you're up, let's say a hundred dollars, right? And you want, you want to get 150 or $125, right? And that's your full TP. What you could do is you could secure $50, put your stops at break even, and then allow the rest of the trade to float. And if it does hit that full TP, then you do secure the last of that little extra profit that you're trying to get. What you're doing is you're 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 protecting yourself, you're protecting your capital, and you're letting the markets do what they need to do, um, without your involvement, right? Meaning like it's either going to hit TP or stomp you out of break even or in profit. Sometimes I put my stops in profit if I'm deep in blues. It just all depends on the situation. Uh, please check gold. Yeah, I'll check gold right now, guys. Uh, is there a GBP index like the dollar? Um, I think there is. I think it might be BXY. He has in boy. Ghost, what's good, man? How have you been, brother? Oh, yeah. I also have to... Man, I forgot. Send the link out real quick. Everyone... <laughs> and then make sure when you guys are joining the uh, discord that you guys just verify yourselves if you guys aren't looking to pay for the elite discord you guys just have to verify yourselves manually and the way you do that is you click the verification tab and then you click this it'll take you to a third party link and you guys just fill out whatever information it asks and then um, you guys will get your role and have access to all of our free channels Star News, welcome to the channel. And <laughs> we got Forex Live Signals, welcome to the channel as well. Uh, cheers to the freaking week, man. You're one of the realists giving out free game out here. I appreciate you, Foreign. And RTW said, will do. Uh, check Euro Odd. What we're working with on Euro Odd. And then what else are we looking at? I think it was just Euro Odd, right? Oh, oil. Oil, too. Okay, so Euro, Euro Odd found uh, stability at this fair value gap. That's why we're pushing from here. So nothing you could have done here unless you played fair value gaps and you would have noticed this. Um, as soon as I saw this candle breaking these highs, I probably would have put two and two together how I just did right there because it's pretty easy to spot fair value gaps without using this tool. Um, what you do is you just look at this wick, you look at this and you could eyeball where the 50% mark is. 
Um, this just dials it into a T and gives you that extra comfort. Um, what do I think about oil? Um, I would still... I do think it'll have sh like short-term bullish momentum, right? But if we are really falling from here on the smaller time frames, this is going to make me feel pretty skeptical is these highs here. So there's a nice gap right here. So obviously I have the confidence that price is most likely at, at very minimum coming up into this range here. Um, but then at that point, we don't know what it's going to do after that. Because I still really... I really like how this looks with the break above, right? That looks really good to me. And you guys got to look at it from this perspective too. It was very bullish this morning, right? So if we if we aggressively fell down and we're already aggressively pushing back up out of 30 minute demand, that could all make sense. Dube, what's good? How you doing? Primo, what's up? What's up? Moy, what is up? What is up? Uh, you need to make a giveaway, it's time. <laughs> I should do giveaways for a uh, free month of um, or free month of the elite group. What's the what? How how do you guys want to do the giveaway? What would be the best way to do a giveaway for? We'll put like we'll give like three three people free elite Discord access for a month. Free fair, right? I feel like we got a lot of support. It wouldn't it wouldn't be fair if we only did one one person. By the way, guys, if you. You say trading? That's a good idea. You guys could all hook up your, like, hook up like a. It doesn't need to be a real account or anything. It could be a demo account, but you guys could hook it up to an FX book. And then, um, you know, at the end of the challenge, we'll give you guys like two weeks or something, and whoever has the highest percentage out of those, um, couple accounts, we'll just give them the elite giveaway. That'd be dope. What happened? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sure they have like some type of subscription to make it a little bit more like extra data, but there's a free one that, you know, gives you all the basics. <laughs> Kev picked me because I never win anything. I feel that. <laughs> I never win anything either, brother. Uh, George said giveaway at 200 likes. I need a funded account hub, but I want to be an elite too. I think the elite guys will, it's, like, yeah, you guys all want funded accounts and stuff, but you got to think about long-term value, right? If you don't have the skill set down early on and I give you a funded account, I'm just giving you guys money to blow. That's just what it comes down to, right? Um, you know, but if I can give you guys some education and like, you know, set you guys up for success, um, that'll set you up, you know, for a better opportunity once you guys do get to that funding challenge, because then it will be like, but now you have a foundation to kind of go off of. Um, GPNZD. I'm still, I'm still bare set sentiment on this one, for sure, because this 30 minute candle doesn't even have a wick on it. Um, you know, it's the most likely it's just gonna come and test these highs, whatever, create a top wick, and then kind of push to the downside. It's like halfway done with this 30 minute candle, so we'll see. It feels good. Uh, let me go to the yeah, like see, again, same thing, guys. Same exact thing why I can't stand trading Forex. Like, I, it's just been hurting my eyes recently, man. Like, look at this. Boom, 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 boom. Like, what? <laughs> like, it's so hard to read anything off of that. It's actually ridiculous. I don't even think we looked at gold. And sometimes I feel like gold gets in that, like, gets in that freaking momentum too. But at least gold has wicks for me to work off of. I hate those full body closures that are just solid and, like, they go bearish, bullish, bearish, bullish. And they're moving, like, centimeters above one another. It's annoying. It looks like gold wanted to hold this double top, right? It looks like it did. <clears throat> Found stability at the 200, and then also that one hour demand, and now we've just been pushing. So in my eyes, I'm looking for bullish momentum to continue on gold. I haven't even looked at DXY today either. 
Um, you know, potentially this is a new hour candle. We know that. So this new hour candle wick looks healthy if we can get a flip to the upside. You know what I mean? Because then if you can get that flip to the upside, you got a nice clean momentum up to this imbalance fill. Right in that zone here. Right, nice clean traffic. Like if you guys just cut everything else out, cut the noise out, just look at this. All right, what is price action telling you? Okay. You had a double top. Oh, I guess you would have to look down here a little bit too. Okay. So you have a double top being created, structure respected. It failed to push below your one hour demand. One hour demand held, respected. Um, you know, last hour candle was very bullish. You know, testing these highs here, potentially creating a double top. However, you know, we want to. It wouldn't be a double top because now it's like a triple top. So you guys heard my take on the triple top. Um, my take on the triple top, it's like, I don't know. I just, I just don't like trading th triple tops. Just, my probabilities on them are way lower than my probabilities on like a double top, double bottom. Uh, Inks in the building. What is good? What is good? Um... Adani, your trick, uh, working mate, I opened two positions, both profit, closed one, and another position, stop loss on C2C. What does uh, C2C mean? I don't know what C2C uh, looks like something to stay away from. No, um, no wick on the bottom of the daily. Let me see. Uh, that's something good to take note of for sure. Cost to cost. Gotcha. Okay. It has a small one. Um, I mean, it could be different for other brokers, like an MT5, maybe it's not showing. They just have a small one. So I think next week we should break uh, in any direction. Okay, I'm done. See, uh, see you on Money Monday. Have a great weekend. Thanks, Steve. You as well, man. I appreciate you. And Kev said the education is better. I feel you. Yeah, I, I agree too. Like, I think the education will take you a lot further. Like... You got to think about it. If somebody gives you a thousand dollars, like how far does that thousand dollars really go? Right? Maybe he buys you groceries for like, I don't know, a month and a half or something. Um, <clears throat> you know, because if I give you knowledge that's worth a thousand dollars, like that's going to stay with you. You know, it's not going to go away. It's not going to be spent on anything. It's, it's now in your head. So to me, I'm always one to take, you know, knowledge over like, monetary stuff um i was talking about this with you know my the elites this morning i was just about another situation but the idea is is like i'm not one to take handouts right like i want to learn you know for myself so i can be self-sufficient as well oh my gosh uh, let me see oh my gosh i think we want to see gu right now i'm gonna block you Okay. Uh, super, I got you, bro. Thanks for only asking once. I really do appreciate you. Uh, GU came down right into our 15-minute demand, right? So now it's all about reaction, okay? This comes down to what we were talking about earlier. What type of reaction are we going to get out of the demand? Are we short-term, Are we short -term, um, you know, going to try to scalp this, right? Or are we going to wait and look at the higher time frames? Because we got to take in the perspective of this. Okay, we have to take in, let me go to the five where you can see it the best there you go okay so you got supply tapped you got a double top created in it right and now we're rejecting down into here um five minute demand is a little bit more tightened up however we could use 15 doesn't really matter in this uh situation so like it could be a potential for you know short-term scalps to the upside right and then we come down and we'll test these lows and then break the lows, right? Or this is going to break these lows, right? And we don't even pay attention to this. Let's just say it breaks the lows. It tests these lows. Price comes back up, goes into newly created supply. And then you take the continuation down to try and fill the absolute lows, which are these. Uh, trading looks like easy money, but it's actually super hard. It's a, it's a, um, the easiest way to make hard money or the hardest way to make easy money. I said that wrong. That's not my quote, by the way, not my quote.
Uh, what other pairs do you guys want to look at? I'm gonna look at crypto real quick. Let's get some. Uh, let's get some BTC up here. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Classic wants to check gold. Yeah, let me hit BTC real quick and then I'll check gold. Uh, good time. I think I have, uh, I appreciate, I appreciate that first off. I think I bought the, uh, I bought the premium. I should have premium now. I paid for something, man. I don't know what I paid for, but I paid for something on this website and I should have premium. I did it for the boot camp so I could have, uh, so I could have a uh, replay mode. <laughs> Dylan, Dylan, you always come out of the, you always come out of the forest, dude. You always come out of the forest anytime some, some, uh, Bitcoin or crypto. <laughs> It comes on the screen, bro. I love that. <laughs> Holy crap. Comes out of the woodworks. I'm kinda I'm kinda feeling bullish on this still. Am I am I wrong to say that? I don't think so, man. If we're holding this structure here at what is this? Structure. What is that? 26 467 kind of a weird number really random but let's just say this general area we're gonna hold structure here I, I really do think we're gonna go and one test these highs for sure okay um obviously we had a little bit of a roadblock here that's fine but it made sense because we were coming up into supply here and supply here so i'd love for stability and like a double bottom to be created on the four hour time frame and for us to break out of this little range that we're kind of trapped in and then I think we'll be in a good opportunity to kind of one see buys up into here and then potentially taking the buys up into a better, um, a little bit better area. This, I think that would make the most sense right here because then you also, it'll come straight into, um, so to me that looks healthy. Market structure does look healthy for me on uh, BTC. Uh, got you, check gold. yeah so i think i need to actually check the higher time frames i think i didn't check them the first time when i was looking at gold uh by the way guys we have been live for about an hour we got 81 likes if you guys haven't already smashed the like button um let's do a little thing hang on we got seven minutes i'm gonna set a timer for seven minutes real quick in seven minutes guys let's see how many likes we can actually get on the stream real quick let's see if we can actually hit that 100 mark we got 127 of you guys in here right now i think we can um, but I'm gonna set that timer for seven minutes real quick. Boom, start. Okay, sick. All right. Um, so yeah, if anyone wants to go ahead and um, you know like the stream, help out the YouTube algorithm, subscribe to the channel, anything like that, you guys are more than welcome to do that. It really does help out the YouTube algorithm, and we would be greatly appreciative of that. Um, yeah, man, love it. J and Z, you're not the only one, brother. It was a bad week for me as well, man. Bad week for me as well. Um, okay, so what am I seeing on US 30 right now? What do we see? Go to the five real quick. Okay, we got five minute demand here. All right. The price is going to come back down. I need a reaction from here if I want it to still be bullish. You'll know if this price, if price breaks these lows, just get out, right? But if, if price is reacting in a positive manner from, from this demand, then most likely we will eventually break out of this consolidation. It's just a matter of time. It's gonna pop out of one of these demands. It'll get the volume it needs and it'll push through. As we get later in the day, you know, if we consolidate down here all day, right? Or even if we break up into profit and then we consolidate at these lows or consolidate in this range right here, we have to understand that the market was overextended from news today. We've had news since 7 p.m. last night all the way up until set or what is it? 6.45 this morning. Um, so there's been tons and tons of news and all red folded, you know what I mean? So market's going to be over extended. It's going to be exhausted. You might see another influx of volume come in towards power hour. It is Friday. It's very risky to trade power hour on Friday. Um, number one, because you might be stuck in a position right before closure. And then you don't know what Sunday is going to bring because Sunday on us 30 will definitely bring a lot of, um, Sunday on us 30 will bring a lot of potential gaps. I think US 30 is probably one of the biggest gapping pairs on Sundays. Um doesn't gap like too major, but it will definitely like hurt a small account. Um you know, that's tough. 
He said, peekaboo, love you. Uh, love your show so much. It makes me feel like a movie star, man. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. <clears throat> hey guys, what do we got? What do we got? What are we working on? We got four more minutes, ladies and gentlemen. We are at 92 likes. If you guys haven't already smashed the like button, there's 123 of you guys in here. I set a timer to see if in the first hour we would be able to reach the 100 like goal. Uh, we are super, super close. So if you guys want to help us out with that, all you guys got to do is smash the like button and turn on post notifications, subscribe to the channel, all that beautiful stuff. If you guys are trying to become an elite member and taking trades with me each and every morning, you guys can go ahead and type uh, exclamation mark Discord, or you guys can click the, click the link where it says elite membership up top. Uh, it'll take you to startybroke.com and then you guys can make your decision on which um, you know payment method you want to go with. And from there, you guys will get access to our Discord. Uh, previous week low was taken out on EU. Check it. Yes, it was taken out. Very bearish. Uh, daily lows as well. Let's check. Yep, just break it down there. So, like, Ink, with your perspective and the way you trade and stuff, like, when you when you see stuff like that happening on, like, the weekly and the daily time frame, like, in Ink's brain, like, what does that mean to you? Like, what do you look for? If, when, what do you look for once price broke certain key levels like that, but then you get, like, rea reactions like this, like, very bullish reactions? Like, what do you do? How do you approach it? Ooh, that is a pair I have not heard in a while. Man, this thing's been choppy chop for a while, huh? Yeah, bro, this thing's been chopping. This thing has been in a nasty daily range. My boy EJ's been confined. <laughs> Friends, I'm from Indonesia. I've subscribed to your YouTube, bro. I appreciate you. I appreciate you, man. Thank you so much. And then kill new lower low on which one? Uh I sorry, I forgot what pair we were looking at lastly. Was it Euro USD? And we guys, we hit the hundred likes. I don't even need the timer to go anymore. We did that. Congratulations, guys. We hit that. Um, let me look. This US 30, again, it, it's holding this area. It's fine. Like, it's just kind of in this range, like low volume. It's going to just consolidate. Um, so now let's look at EJ. Like, EJ's in this nasty range right now. Like, kind of, I've been stuck here for a while. So we know those are for sure key levels. Um, if we're playing the range, what I like to say, guys, is like, if we're stuck in a range like this, I only play the extremes. So I would be looking for... I would be playing the extremes. I'd be looking for a retest of these highs. I'd be looking for a retest of these lows and looking to enter positions. Only thing that's skeptical about this with me um, is the fact that it's touched so many times already, right? We've, um, you know, you can consider this one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, right? Add overlap for sure. I mean, like you're not gonna catch the overlap on the daily. Um, but this is a very very key range so i'm not going to try to trade in the middle i'm going to wait till it's overextended one way or the other and then i'm going to see what's going to happen like are we going to still be playing the range are we going to break the range like which direction are we going to go with this um us 30 gets trapped in some of these ranges sometimes um on the higher time frames like the four hour i haven't really seen like a daily range like this in a while so it's really cool to kind of see this uh, tons of data obviously going on you know in between this whole entire thing like if you go into 15 like obviously there's moves that could be there's moves that could be happening in between um it's just it's always better in terms of probabilities to kind of play your ranges off the key levels which are you know the overextended highs or lows of a range Again, guys, if you guys are trying to hop into the boot camp with us tomorrow uh, morning at, I don't know exactly what time. I'm not going to give you guys the time yet. I'll probably make an announcement tonight about it. But tomorrow morning, my time. So anywhere from like 8 o'clock to like 10 o'clock, we're going to host a boot camp for all my elite members. It's just included with your membership. Um, because this week was such a bad week for me, 
um, I do want to go ahead and back test. I want to go ahead and show you guys how I back test I want to you guys um, the opportunity to kind of get, you know, that perspective from me because so far, you know, in the last two months, you guys have only seen, um, you know, like green, 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 you know, and I don't want you guys to think that it's only sunshine over here and rainbows when in reality, there are days when we have put a raincoat on, right? And how do we protect ourselves? How do we come out of the storm? Um, you know, my goal is to kind of teach you guys what I do and my perspective on that. So um, again, if you guys are interested in, you know, being a part of, you know, that back testing session and, you know, the boot camp tomorrow um, and all of our other boot camps that we're going to be hosting, you guys are more than welcome to go ahead and join the elite discord. And um, if you guys are new here, subscribe to the channel, turn on post notifications and like the stream. It really does help out that YouTube algorithm, you guys. And not to mention, I do this Monday through Friday at 7.30 a.m. PST. Uh, what time is it on your side of the planet? Right now, it's uh, 8.30 in the morning. So it'd basically be like this same time. There's 30 buys working out yet or nah? Not too shabby. Not too shabby. Uh, Luke, what's good, man? What's good? What's good? Uh, market okay so market structure shift and also look for how far away i'm also look wait wait market shift structure shift and also look at how far away i am also look at whether i have an order block um, or fair value gap to work off of in my background um, i also pay attention to what week of the month i am in nice okay so so if you're going into like the last week of the month and you're seeing like a rejection um like, let's say you break those lows, right? And you're going into the last week of the month, but like you're flipping bullish after breaking lows. What's, what's going through your mind at that point? Are you going to go bullish sediment because we're about to close the week bullish? Um, or are you still just waiting and you're considering that maybe like a fake out or liquidity grab to the upside because you already got confirmations of lows breaking? Hopefully that makes sense. Um, and then, yeah, let me look at gold real quick for you guys. I think a majority of the people are waiting for gold to short. It could, guys. Um, I'm just on the side of trying to catch this little push up to like 39 again because there is clean imbalance here. Um, but yeah. Okay, so you would you would take that as a reversal for next week, right? Break us out of that. Um, like in in terms of EU, you would say that okay, we're going to be going bullish for next week because of how the previous week ended, and then that's what you would be looking at. Um, question, why not go for a sell in the line of US 30 instead of buy? Are you talking about this one right here? Um, I would say, I would say it's mostly because like there's clean traffic that can still be filled, right? And we've kind of been consolidating. Um, so yeah, I mean, like if you're one to play the range, like for sure, you could be, you could be playing the range every time it touches the highs, right? And then, you know, you know, play the range every time it touches the lows, which would be about here. Um, I just, like I said, I don't really play ranges all that much, guys. I try to get like my supply and demand out of a range, right? Anticipating the breakout because ranges don't last forever. But when you can get those breakouts, the RR and those breakout trades from being in a range are just absolutely tremendous. So, you know, if I can take more of those setups, right? And let's just say I lose more than I win. But if the RR is there, you're always going to be profitable, right? If you have a setup like this. Um, Luke, Luke said you're confused. What are you confused about? Um, yeah, no, sorry. There's a little bit of a delay. Yeah. So like on, I was talking about for the US 30 play, um, but on the gold play, like I said, like it could create a double top, right. And it could fall back down. Um, but also, right. You can see like the potential of price breaking these highs and getting into like this clean traffic area that one was for you luke um his last five minute close um above a good entry on us 30. Uh, i would i mean i would wait till you get like clear breakout past those highs right because it could just come back down like uh biggs was saying 
it could be forming a uh, morning star, right? And then it could, it could just flip and like fill all of this, come back down to the bottom of the range and then reverse to the outside again. Um, so I'd say just wait for the volume to come in and break these highs officially and then get you into that clean traffic. Uh, US oil, yeah, I got you guys. Oil came all the way back down, guys. The crazy trade we took this morning. Let me look at the higher time frames with oil real quick. By the way, guys, if it's your first time here, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Turn on post notifications. Hit the like button. I do this Monday through Friday at 7.30 a.m. PST. Uh, if you guys, again, if you guys are looking to take signals with me or whatever the case is, um, we are going to be hosting um, a boot camp with all the members that join our Discord. Um, the Elite Discord, that is, right? The paid Discord. Everyone that joins that is going to be um, going to our boot camp tomorrow morning. It's going to be about the same time as the live stream, um, which is about right now. You guys have time tomorrow and you guys are interested in joining. That would basically mean you guys are getting like a nice little boot camp on this weekend. Um, and then after that, you guys are getting a month worth of signals all for $50. Um, and if you guys were interested in the lifetime, uh, the lifetime option is still available for a limited time. Um, I think, uh, dude, it was crazy. We were talking about how I got the last payment yesterday on the lifetime. And then all of a sudden, everyone was like, lifetime? Let me let me hop in on that. So again, last call for lifetime, guys. If there's no interest in it today, it's it's getting taken off the site. Okay, I've, <laughs> I've been trying to take that thing off the site for days. Um, ITM said, what's the point of giving funded accounts away if they'll uh, just blow it if they don't have the skill set to manage it? Exactly. So th that's what I was thinking is like, we should do a giveaway, but it's going to be trading based, right? So whoever is, like, I think well, I haven't set it in stone. I was thinking about it though. It was a good idea to kind of do like a trading competition, like how the prop firms have been doing it. And then, you know, the top three people that get the highest percentage can get access into the elite discord um, for a month free, right? Just kind of get a feel of it, meet the community, kind of chill, review the boot camps, and just kind of have a good time with us. So that's kind of like my goal, kind of my goal with it. And then uh, Tantaly, welcome to the channel, man. Thank you so much for that sub. We got Umer, welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for that sub. Um, and then, oh my gosh, I'm going to butcher this one. U Uvanga, welcome to the channel. Thank you so much uh, so much for that uh, sub. We really do appreciate that. And you said, uh, G, you pushed out of this demand right here. The pushing. Oh yeah, but also the, that lifetime option, guys, is going to be on uh, the website, guys, startedbroke.com. It's pinned to the top if you guys are interested in that. Uh, you can pay me via PayPal or Cash App or BTC, whatever you want to, whatever you guys want to pay me with. Um, the only option on the website right now is PayPal. Um, and then if you pay through Discord, that's just like you pay a card, whatever the case is. But I know people around the world, they have different preferences on how they kind of do their finances or how they purchase things so got options got options uh local said you're the best bro i appreciate you guys uh btc i got my btc marked up a second ago so actually it's gonna be really easy to go over here you go so for me btc the market structure looks clean to me okay um to some people this might not look clean but for me this is like i'm reading it like a book right so um, you know, we had our supply tapped, we were traced down, we created a double bottom, we found support, we found stability, we've been pushing on these four hour candles, we have a break of structure that we need to break before we continue to buy. Uh, so this is our area of interest. If we could break and close there, you know, then potentially we're going to be riding this up to these highs. If we break these highs, we now have clean traffic into here. We have a four hour supply here and we have great structure here. Okay really really good indications that in my opinion etc is about to have some really nice bullish momentum um but with btc and all cryptos you know if any news comes out that says otherwise like <laughs> that could be a whole different story so until that point we'll make that decision uh mh welcome to the channel thank you so much for that sub we got troy welcome to the channel thank you so much for that sub guys we appreciate you and then luke new we got you man we got you hey tj have you prepared the magazine <laughs> Zap, you're coming in with the new ones, bro. I thought we were going to sharpen our arrows today. <laughs> oh, we were sharpening our arrows. Sosa, what's good, my boy? 
Hey, by the way, big W's for Sosa yesterday when the hater came in, bro. <laughs> This guy's saying TJ can't trade, he takes booty trades, this, that, the other thing, he can't pass the funded, you know, he's a failure, all this stuff. And then Sosa goes, really? He's like, yeah, go back. I've been following him since April, all this stuff. And Sosa goes, that's crazy because I made like over 10K with him. <laughs> oh, shit. That shit had me dying when he said that. I was, I was cracking the hell up, dude. Uh, Alex, your Discord is full pay, nothing free to talk. No, we got a free section, guys. We have a free section. Um, this area right here. Everything right here is the free section, but as you guys can see, I'm not really active in, like, the trade ideas here. Like, the last one I sent out was on the 15th. Um, you know, but I gave you guys, like, a little taste of what the elites is like. Um, you know, members will post news in here. We post the flex zones in here. You know, memes just have a good time. Crypto, if anyone's interested in crypto, we have a crypto channel. Um, if you're interested in talking about challenges, got a channel for that. Chart feedback in general chat. Most of the time, people are just sending their charts and chart feedback in general chat and just having a good time. Um, you know, we got a lot of really talented traders in here, you guys. Um, like, people think that only new people come to the channel. Um, and it, it's that's not the case. Like, we got vets in here. We got people that are just looking to have a community. So, I mean, like... You guys gotta you guys gotta realize the value of just having like a community as is even if it's the free one it's still more valuable being in there than just being in none, no community right um but of course again like if you guys want like the step-by-step -step trades and you know the boot camps and all that stuff you're gonna have to become an elite member for that it's 50 bucks a month or you guys can buy the lifetime for 300. um in january prices are going up though on both of them um but yeah make sure that you guys are you know verifying yourself when you join it okay um what's your alex what's your name um i didn't check correctly yeah you just got to verify yourself i think that's the only issue you're having alex so you just got to verify yourself right here click this right there and then you'll be good i'll give you guys the link one more time for it um so there you go and yeah guys so daily analysis step-by-step -step trading sunday exclusive live streams and then tomorrow we're actually hosting another boot camp um okay this one is you got you all right now you should have access to all these ones big dog um but yeah so we got all that stuff guys we're gonna we already have our old boot camp up in there is about a month ago uh that we posted it in there so we're gonna have another one that we're gonna upload from tomorrow so again if you guys are able to kind of be a part of you know the elite discord you guys are gonna have like a really nice back testing session in the boot camp it's gonna be a one day boot camp for tomorrow um i'm thinking around two hours three hours will probably be sufficient enough for it and it's going to be really going over how I kind of back test, right? Because this week was really rough for me. Super transparent. You guys have seen it here firsthand. Um, the last two days were pretty decent. Like I hit a killer trade on my personal um, on US 30 yesterday. I'm in one currently right now. If we can get these eyes pop in. Um, let me see. Yeah, I mean, we're still doing all right. Um, and what is it? Oh, the oil trade got stomped out by one point. I'm not mad at that trade. Like... To, to get stumped up by one pip and then go 122 pips in profit, like, you can't be mad at that. Fix your levels, like, and I'm going to show you guys exactly how I approach it, you know, how I go about, you know, back testing, making sure I'm getting things right and making sure my mind's always fresh, right? So, again, if you guys do want to join the elites, we have the lifetime option. That lifetime option is actually doubling to 600 in January when I raise the prices. So you guys don't want to miss out on that. Opportunity is there on starterbroke.com. You can click the pinned one right there. And they, hey, you guys wanted the haters. Here's this one. Here's this one. Ben Dover. It's funny how there are streamers that give free education and take trades live with their own money, and you don't even trade live trying to get funded and ask for money for any kind of education. There you go. Guys, what do we say to that one? What do we say to that one? Apparently, I don't trade live. Uh, what's your stream setup? It looks so nice. Um, I literally just have like a normal Logitech uh, <clears throat> camera. Um, you are very right in your own world, but time to wake up. It's time for school. <laughs> oh man, I'll just let I'll let the community take care of you. It's fine, brother. He said I. There's, so, there's like two types of, uh, of extremes here. You know, people actually making money with me and they say I love you. And then we got people over here that are just bitter. Bitter and broke. <laughs> 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 
Last time I watched this live, you said you don't trade live because someone trolls you. Hmm. Weird. Weird. <laughs> man, it's weird, man. Ignorance is bliss, my friend. Ignorance is bliss. Bliss, bliss, bliss. I think that means the streams are picking up more volume then. It just like anytime we get more haters coming in, it's always just it's always just more people. Like it just means that the, the streams are picking up volume again. This is a good thing. He said, "Bend over, go bend over somewhere else." <laughs> He's bugging. No solution in his comments. I'm new to trading. Um, I just find it weird. You're always pushing your elite membership, and you guys like Don Bo and others. Um. I mean, yeah, bro. You're not the same level, man. I appreciate you, brother. I mean, you can keep watching Don Vo. I support Don Vo. I go in there. You're probably the same person that takes a winning trade with Don Vo, keeps that win for yourself. But as soon as the losses come out, you're the first one to type, my man. It's all right. We've seen your type before. <laughs> You've been there. Uh, what time does your stream start? 7.30 a.m. PST, guys. But I mean, there's tons of free value and knowledge all over the internet, brother. I mean, you don't really have to invest in yourself. I mean, you can go a year learning free stuff off of YouTube um, and you'll be straight, bro. You'll be straight. And uh, as long as you like stack it properly, you know, as long as you stack it properly, you'll be good, bro. All right. You don't have to watch me if you don't like me. But while you're here, let me go ahead and hit, hit an ad on you real quick. Um, you know, thank you for your input. We appreciate you. The community is sending you love, you know, hugs and kisses. Love you. Um, you know what I mean? So, I mean, we don't have hate in the, like our heart for you guys. We understand, you know, not everyone could think outside the box. Like we get it. We don't know who hurt you before. We don't know how much money you've lost before. Um, you know, I don't know your story, bro. Same way you don't know mine, you know, but I'll respect it. You don't have to respect me. It's all good, bro. All good. I mean, all good. Uh, give some love to the haters. Don't forget the giveaway. Uh, okay, I'll go now. Have a great day. I love you too, Afe. Hey, we'll uh, we'll check out the uh, giveaway soon. Maybe I'll announce it Saturday. We'll see. I don't know exactly how I want to start it or how I want to do it. Um, I'll probably talk about it with the elites on the uh, what is it, the boot camp tomorrow. We'll talk about it. Heck, maybe even hey, maybe even Ben Dova could win a membership, guys. That is crazy. Maybe Ben Dova could win a membership and get into the elites for free, and then he has nothing to absolutely complain about, and then he could just leech the money off of me. That would be perfect, bro. That would be fucking perfect. Be a banger. What do you guys think about that? Imagine just, just give a free membership to the hater. How mad would that make him? And then all of a sudden he starts making money. And then he just feels dumb. And then he just buys a lifetime. <laughs> did I take any trades today? Uh, Robin, I did. The one trade I took today, guys, was my oil trade. I actually removed everything. Let me show you exactly what it is. Uh, I gotta go to the step by step to find it. So I was like redoing all the analysis. So I got stomped out. No, not US 30. This one. So I, oh, okay. So I'm still in this US 30 on my personal. This was a loss on the Elise today. And then this one for oil. Do I have to go to my IG to find it? Okay, I was posting about it on my IG. Dang it. I got stomped out by one point and basically it went up to 122 points in profit. That was my big win. Which was a loss. Unfortunately, I came late. <laughs> what's good? So, uh, Sosa wants to look at NASDAQ. Uh, what's a flag limit? <laughs> Bend over the big elite. Yeah, bro, I'm just waiting for US 30. I think we will break eventually. But there's some good upside to it, right? So, I mean, we'll see what power hour brings. Like I said, it's, the market's pretty overextended. Not much volume in it right now. What if uh, a member wins the membership? Does he get mo the money instead? Just curious. That's a good question. Good question. Yeah, I'll pay for your membership. Austin says you sound like you're rapping. Everyone says that. How do I? How do I sound like I'm rapping? 
Oh, and for anyone that is upset that I talk about my elite Discord so much, like, have you guys never ran a business? Have you guys never marketed? Have you guys never put yourself out there? I mean, because it kind of is showing, you know what I mean? <laughs> you guys think you just get traffic to a website by just standing still? I mean, if I ran ads, I did, right? But no, nah, I like the grunt work. I like showing and being transparent and, you know, putting myself out here each and every day, right? And then, you know, if people put money on the line to kind of be with me and learn from me, there's a reason, right? Because I'm vetted here live every single day with you guys through the good, the bad, the ugly days, like whatever happens, you guys see, I know what I'm doing each and every day. So for the people that pop in here once every two months, like you're irrelevant, you know what I mean? We got, we got hundreds of people that show up here daily just to be a part of the community. And Robin, you took the same trade. How's it working out for you right now, brother? And make sure all the people joining the free Discord, make sure you guys verify yourselves. Uh, the way you do that is verification and then click this robot right here. Uh, for the ones with the profile pictures, I'll just verify you manually right now. Get you guys all right. There you go. Ah. Do I have a Telegram channel? No. So, Kessie, if you want to take signals with me, you just got to go over to the Discord, brother. Um, and tomorrow, which is cool, and not only are you getting signals, but tomorrow I'm actually hosting a boot camp for all of the elites. It's going to be a quick one, though. It's probably going to be like two, three hours. It's just going to be like a one day. It's going to be how I kind of come back from like a losing streak, like, you know, throughout this week. It was like really two hard days for me. And then Alejandro, yeah. So I hit S uh, stop loss from what I sent out to the Elise this morning. Um, personally, I'm still holding this trade, though. But I mean, it's kind of irrelevant. We don't really need to talk about this one. I'm just keeping an eye on it because I personally have a position in on it. Um, and I want to make sure that you guys like you guys know that like the elites got stomped out this morning on this position. I just wanted to give it time to see if it was going to hold stability based off higher time. <clears throat> Osa, you're new here. Welcome, man. Hope you're enjoying your time, brother. Uh, what pairs do I trade? Oil is like my favorite pair to trade. I trade US 30, I trade NASDAQ, I trade gold. And then my favorite Forex pairs are like EU. Yeah, just pretty much EU right now. I was going to say EU and GU, but not really GU. Uh, what other pairs do you guys want to you guys want to check out? Today's the day for you guys. Oh, this is cool. So if you guys remember what I was talking about on UJ, this is kind of up into the area of interest for me. So we're going to watch the reaction here. Um, how do you see if you create a Telegram channel? Wait, how do you see if you create a channel? Go up after creating one. What's like the, uh, what's like the benefit? What's like the benefit of uh, creating like the Telegram versus the Discord? Like, is there like natural reach you can get out of a Telegram? Every time I think of Telegram, bro, I think of scam. Like, it just, it just goes automatic scam. I don't know why. Uh, Telegram is good, to be honest. I don't know why, but Signal is there so much better to me. Well, because you get the easy, you get the uh, the numbers. It's easier to just say, okay, this is, this is when he got in, this is when he got out. But then my only thing with that is, like, Every broker's number is going to be slightly different. So him getting in at like, let's say $100, it might be 101 for you, you know? So I think the, still, the same issues still arise, but my whole my whole reason behind doing it the way I do it is just for like the visuals and the, the, the accessibility between shifting between everything. Like everything's all in one place. Oh, you get pictures. Okay, got you. Uh, it's easier for mobile users, I think. Oh, I like that. I like that. BCHUSD. Crypto Fridays, baby. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, so this one to me kind of looks like we could be falling off, but this is BTC Cash. What does BTC look like? Did it have a big move recently? Hmm. Oh, that's right. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. 
because you got a lot of it, yeah that would make it tough because then you're getting notifications from everything and it's like it's overwhelming i, I would have turned off my notifications does look like we're breaking some lows here breaking some lows in the 15 we got five minutes to have 15 to close Let's see if we could break structure here Like, I want to say shorts, but then I don't feel confident saying that because I'm like, BTC looks bullish. <laughs> you tried to turn them all off apart from started broke, but it would take hours. <laughs> That'd be terrible. Um, and then please, what are you trading now? I want uh, I want to connect with you. My screen is blurry. So I'm not really looking. I'm just kind of marking up stuff with you guys. I'm just chilling vibing today. So like whatever you guys want to look up, whatever type of like education you want to get from the channel, like whatever questions you have, like I'd be happy to help you for free. For all you like weird people that think the elite group is like you have a gun to your head or something for the elite group. Uh, what, uh, what calculator do you use for NAS in US uh, 30? So you should just, I would recommend, because every broker is a little bit different with those ones, I would recommend just going into a demo account with whichever broker you're going to use, and then just test out like what, how much is a 0 0.01 move? How much is a 0.10 move, right? And then once you get that dollar per pip on your broker, um, then you can make the decision on like how to kind of like manage your risk, if you will. Uh, Rap, how you doing, brother? By the way, guys, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe to the channel, turn on those post notifications, sit back, relax, and enjoy yourself. We go live Monday through Friday at 7.30 a.m. PST each and every day during the week, you guys. So I'd love for you guys to be a part of it. If you guys have any questions at all, um, you know, ask away, bro. I'm here for you guys. Dude, Alex, uh... FX Alex hit 300k at 100k a day on his uh that's crazy bro <laughs> at 100k on his uh flip account 100k a day freaking dope and man alpha's out of here we'll see you tomorrow brother um I'm fine thanks how are you we're chilling guys uh um, we'll look at EU real quick and then we'll look at GU mm -hmm. So EU's obviously we're in a downtrend, right? Um, as of now, this four hour candle has an hour left. We're still looking like there's plenty of time to flip bearish and continue kind of this like these highs that we've kind of ranged ourselves into, if you will, right? Because we do have kind of like a four hour range forming here. So I do think that we'll play this range because we're over overextended. I think we'll probably play this for the rest of the day. Um, and towards the end of the session, we might start peeking through here. Um, because there's not been like a change of character quite yet. Uh, so any kind of criticism is considered hate. Can you tell me what was so hateful about my comment? Also, you timed me out. Nice. Um, Maurice, I don't know what, uh, I don't know what, con I haven't seen your name in the chat yet. So I don't know if one of the moderators timed you out, but I don't know what you asked. Dude, this thing's still been in this range since yesterday. Let me remove all this. Oh, you're bent over? Bro, that's not criticism, bro. That's straight hate. What do you mean? <laughs> that wasn't even criticism. There's like constructive criticism. Um, and then there's just straight hate. Yeah, like I don't even know. Like that was the dumbest shit you could have probably asked. I've that is the dumbest thing I've heard all day. My man made a whole new YouTube account to come back and cry about being banned from the channel. He said that what he was saying was criticism. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, man. Um, I noticed that you see the four hours. Yeah, so if, if I'm not going to be taking any, like, quote, unquote, day trades right right then and there, um, what I do is I go ahead and look at the four hour because we can base our decisions off the four hour because that's where you're going to base, like, your biggest structural points, right? Your biggest structural shifts. And that's going to give you the bigger picture so we can make lower time frame decisions with the bigger picture. Um, 
My question is what techniques is best for your trading? So I use supply and demand support resistance. Simple as that. I know it's it's hilarious. I literally haven't traded like Waggy said three days out of three days out of all the trading days this month. I haven't traded, but all of a sudden it's a huge fucking issue when there's traders that take one to two trades a week and they live stream every single day. Like, <laughs> okay, <laughs> but thank you for thinking about me. Thank you for being so upset to come back. Like we appreciate you, bro. Like I said, hugs and kisses. We love you. um so fib okay so fibonacci retracements um i don't really use fibonacci retracements i used to when i was like more of a beginner i don't really have anything against them i think it does work out well if you know how to do it um but for me personally i think it's just it was a lot of noise right because you could throw a fibonacci on like the one the five the three the 15 the four the uh the four hour of the daily right you could do all that stuff and you know could it be beneficial sure um you know but at the same time i think it's just it keeps it, it started getting my charts a lot a lot more messy if you will right like it it had me doing too much analysis now he's saying i insult him oh my gosh dude get this sunflower out of here bro <laughs> go make another account if you want to talk to me you're wasting my time bro i insulted you okay all right i insulted you Could you help me out with Naz? I'm trying to understand if we are bearish or bullish trend due to the four hour uh, we are in order block. I see daily bearish. No, I deleted it, bro. I took it out. It's this guy, like, it, <laughs> I deleted his text, but apparently, apparently, let me read this one more time. You got me all wrong and chose to insult me. Anyways, I hope it works out for you. Okay. All of a sudden. <laughs> are weird bro Let's see you said four hour order block no it's not a disrespectful question at all i would say my win rates so right now we're at let me see i'm at 39 and 17 so i want to say we dropped below i want to say we dropped below um after the last two days of trading, we dropped below, I'd say 70%. So we're probably around like in the sixties now. Dan, how we doing brother? So you're right. So NASDAQ did come out of, um, NASDAQ did come out of this. Did for sure. Gotta go out a little bit. I mean, we are gonna have to fill this eventually. Okay. Okay, we're gonna have to fill this eventually. Well, you know, when that happens, we don't really know. Like, but I, I honestly, like, even if we only fill it like halfway, we'll still be. It'll still be beneficial, right? Because then at least we could say, okay, now we can continue to go to the downside and potentially break. But. I do feel like because we've had like so many four hour candles already bullish, I think that it's going to just continue to kind of go up and creep up slowly, but surely. Um, and then how many people are in the elite group? Um, so between like the lifetimes and the members, like real quick. So right now paying monthly, we got 27 and then we got like um, a decent amount of, of lifetime members. The community is like, I wouldn't consider it a big community by any means. Like, it's still very close knit. Um, and the cool thing is, guys, I actually go live with you and trade like New York session as well. Um, so you guys will see my screen during New York session. You'll hear me in Discord. Like, I'm actually live right now. Um, I do the same thing. You guys can check this out right here. Um, I go live just like that. Share my screen. There's no delay like on YouTube. And, you know, we trade on the high volume sessions and, you know, you don't, you don't. Yo, don't you know who I am? Not a big community. What? What? No, I, I feel like it's uh overall the community is big, but I'm talking about the elite group specifically. It's close knit. Uh, do you normally use support and resistance strategies? Yeah, I use supply, demand, support, and resistance. 
Um, and then going back to the question on US 100, it's like, okay, just because I'm getting like a push here, we are technically still in like this higher time frame downtrend, which is very easy to read, right? Okay, we are in that higher time frame downtrend. So coming back up here, it's not too out of the ordinary. You know what I mean? Like it, it, it that could make sense to us. Um, I'm gonna go pee real quick, guys. I'm gonna go pee. I'm gonna put you guys on intermission. So if you guys have any questions, now is the time to ask. No, help you guys out, all right? Right, let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, <clears throat> dude, when I was peeing right now, you, know, you guys know what I thought about? I was just like, bro, the guy came in here and said that I didn't know how to take criticism. And if it, if that's his criticism, I'm like thinking, I'm like, how can my, how can somebody criti criticize something that they, they know nothing about? Like he literally said he was a new trader. Like they, <laughs> the internet is filled with some interesting characters, bro. <laughs> Interesting people, man. Uh, let's see, RTW, what'd you do? You secured some profits and had a blessed weekend. There we go. I think you overthink it's not healthy. Oh, 100%, bro. 100%. We, we talked about this, right? Like, I feed off energy. And the way I do that is literally based off of... Um, let me see. Yeah, we, we talked about that. Like, I, I feed off the energy. So, like, if if the energy is negative, I'm gonna constantly think about it. If the energy is positive, I'm gonna constantly think about that positive energy. Right. Right. Yeah, guys, but that's that's my personality, bro. That's my personality. It's who I am. Um, can you verify me? I don't see anyone that needs verification right now. Go ahead and click the Discord link one more time, and then I'll verify you. Uh, Lapta said, let's add 10 more elites Friday challenge, uh, special zoom for elites every weekend. Um, do you trade crypto? Maybe with Binance. I've dabbled in crypto. I've dabbled in crypto. I've dabbled in crypto. I do market up with you guys. I like to make Friday kind of like our, our crypto trading days, if you will. And then, um, Okosi or no, sorry. Um, Osa, can you tell me what your discord name is once you join and I'll get you in here, brother. And laughter. I like the I like the ten elites by Friday challenge. Um, because tomorrow's gonna be cool. Tomorrow's gonna be fun. Um, like I said, guys, like I'm sh I'm literally showing you guys how I approach a losing week for myself. Right? How do we come back? What can we do? Uh, miss GU. If you don't, oh, uh, let me see. Miss the GU. Ah, I'm on the wrong time frame. Hang on. Yeah, Osa, so make sure um, make sure that you go ahead and hop in the Discord. Click the link one more time. And then when I see that name, I'll verify you. And then Big said, do you accept OF subscriptions as payments for the elites? No, I don't. 
<laughs> oh man. Wow, you called my name uh well, thank you, boss. Yeah, no worries, dude. I try to I try to pronounce as many names as I can. Um I think the only ones that like I, I have a hard time pronouncing are like um well obviously like 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 Arabic text, like I have no idea what that like I can't even I can't even guess if I wanted to. Um and then what's the other one? Oh like like any type of like Asian texture. Or texture. <laughs> any type of, any type of Asian text I can't can't read it obviously. Hmm. What is US thirty doing? It's being boring. It's boring. Guys, we are at 146 on the like button. If you guys have not already smashed the like button, go ahead and <laughs> smash the like button. <laughs> <laughs> Turn on post notifications if you guys are enjoying yourself, having a good time here, and enjoying the community and the vibes. Um, it means the world that you guys would stop by and support the young, the man, the myth, the legend. TA. You know what I need? Um, I need a soundboard. But, like, no, not a soundboard. Uh, is it the stream deck? The one where I could literally just press a button and it just, I have everything. I could change my voice out sounds, like, everything, bro. This the stream deck one? How do you oh you don't use it? You don't like it or what? Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> Wait, what what did you use to stream? Wait, what did you use to stream? I didn't know you used to stream. Oh, okay, got you, got you. Um, but yeah, no, guys, uh, US 30 for sh I mean, not US 30, US 100 is for sure coming out of that double bottom, like, really nice. And like I said, we got clean traffic to the upside. So even if we make our way back up to, like, 1500, that would be healthy. But there is still two hours on this four-hour candle, right? So even though we did wick and break the highs, we still need to be, like, um, cautious. Or not cautious. Oh, well, yeah, cautious. Um, like, we need to think about it, right? We need to understand that that's you know, where price could potentially reverse. We need to understand that what we had three aggressive candles. What does that create? It creates demand, right? So if we get positive pushes out of our demand, then that's going to tell us that one, we're, we're ready to continue, um, you know, breaking past these highs and holding structure above. Um, did I look at Nasna? I just looked at it right now. Mark, you hit a $1,500 day today. There you go. I know you just blew your account the other day, bro, but I'm glad to see you're back on it. You got that 1500 today. Hey, Luis said Asian texture is wild. <laughs> Bro, Asian texture, no wonder. <laughs> um, please, is your Discord free? Guys, I have the free Discord and I have the paid Discord. So like if you're if you guys aren't able to if you guys aren't able to pay the subscription fee, that, like that's fine. Like the free Discord is a great place to kind of like mingle and you know check out the community and just kind of see what we're all about. You know, I send out trade ideas every so often. I send one out on the 15th um, in there for you guys. And I, I'm going to try to make my trade ideas in there the same style that I do in the Elite Discord. Um, you know, just so you guys get used to that style and it makes sense. I just YOLO then won. I thought I'm going to lose another 500 again. <laughs> What'd you trade today? And then last call for any elites that want to join, pay 50 bucks and come part, get to be a part of the boot camp tomorrow and view the boot camp from last week. You guys are more than welcome to do so now. Um, all you guys got to do is click that Discord link or go to the elite membership tab that is right there in the chat with you guys at the very top. And it will take you to startedbroke.com. You guys can either pay for the lifetime um, if you guys think you're going to stay around for a while or if you guys just want to get those boot camps and you just want to be here for the boot camp tomorrow, ask your questions and things like that. Um, you guys could just shoot the 50 for the month and then, you know, if you choose to resubscribe, cool. And if you don't, cool. Um, if you guys want to see testimonials about the group and things like that, you guys are more than welcome to check them out here. We do have a testimonial tab. Everyone, even new members should be able to kind of view that, um, you know, even if you're not verified yet. Right. So you guys can all go see what the what the members are saying and just know that, you know, we're having a good time now. We're learning I'm an absolutely amazing time. Now. Um, any other charts that you guys want to mark up? We are approaching the two hour mark here on the stream, you guys, and we are one like away from 150. Um, what is our next sub goal? I don't even know what our next sub goal is. I haven't checked in a while. 
Okay, we I think we hit our next sub goal. Okay, so I can't say we really have one today. Um, but next stop, guys, is gonna be 11k subs, so that's huge. Um, maybe we'll do the 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 giveaway at 11k subs, or like one 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 subs. Maybe we'll do that. Something cool, crazy, something unique. Wow. Oh my. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, it's still rough. Ten trades minimum for entries for boot camp or ten push ups? <laughs> uh, what's the other one? Pepe? Which one do you think has more volume right now, you guys? Would it be Pepe or would it be, um, would it be Sheeb? Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Eyes. Oh gosh. Yeah. It's Sheeb. It's Sheeb. What's, what's the best one to use? Is it going to be, maybe it's, maybe it's this one. Okay. Okay. There you go. This is the one I had. To... Yeah, I should have been looking at the market cap one. Okay, that makes more sense. Maybe. <laughs> no, I don't want boosted subs, guys. I don't want boosted subs. We want it all authentic, baby. All authentic. Um, How do you pass uh, funded challenges? I don't. I can't even pass one for myself, bro. Ask my haters. Ask my haters, man. Uh, it's like a two hour. Uh, what is your thoughts on the the crypto market um, ecosystem, sustainability and viability? <sighs> like, okay, so for me, like, I just I'm not too educated in like the crypto space. I'm not going to really act like I'm super educated in the crypto space. Um, all I'm taking off from crypto is basically I'm just applying what I've learned from like the forex markets, from the stock market, and everything like that, um, and just applying the same skill set over to the crypto market. Um, when it comes to like the fundamentals of crypto, the news events and things like that, I'm, I'm ter I don't even know where to look for that stuff. So, you know, if you want my personal opinion, I guess in terms of like what I think about crypto and like the actual like utility of it, um, I think it's amazing. Um, you know, in terms of like global um, adoption, right? Like, I think it's amazing, and I've I've used it firsthand for the elite Discord um, per se, because in some countries people don't have PayPal, in some countries. Um, what is it they were able to I don't, I don't know what the case is but in other countries i had to do crypto transactions right so i've done like business with crypto right but that wouldn't i wouldn't have been able to do the business if it wasn't for crypto so in terms of that i think there's very positive like limelight behind it like the possibilities um you know for that and obviously there's like a whole dark side to like the whole bitcoin stuff you know like um for instance like the whole dark web stuff if you guys uh, know anything about that you know silk road and everything that goes on behind the scenes on the dark um the dark web obviously that's all operating off of crypto um you know so it, it like there's good and bad right same, same thing with everything uh no that wasn't sarcasm like i, I literally like i haven't passed the funding challenge yet um on the live stream i've passed two for myself but i haven't done it on the live stream I don't feel confident offering any types of services. I don't think I'll ever offer any types of services. I'd rather you guys pass your own challenges based off of what I can teach you. Um, and then you guys could just apply it, right? That would be like my ideal, my ideal, um, like way to approach it. Did you know the UK is getting so poor it's shrieking due to poverty? Kids are growing up shorter now. Is that real? Are you sh really? That's crazy. I didn't know that. Oh, yeah, no worries. 
Let me see. So sorry, I had to take a uh, talk to the wifey and get some coffee from downstairs in my building. Um, I did not get your perspective on GJ. Let's see. Where did I put GJ? Probably threw it out on the streets again. There it is. All right. So, oh shoot, I guess I deleted what I was talking about. Okay, cool. So that means I'm going to have to kind of go into this. How do I learn your strategy? So I got a lot of free stuff. Um, I got a lot of free content on my stream, or sorry, not my stream. One, you can show up to the stream, you know, ask questions. That's one way to kind of learn from me live, right? Um, or you can go to the channel. I got supply and, uh, supply and demand support and resistance videos. Um, I have videos on how I target gaps and how I use them to help me take my, you know, you, how I use them to go to my full TPs and things like that, or where I target my TPs. Um, and pretty much I have boot camps. Like if you want like real in-depth stuff, like, you know, hours of content, um, you know, I have the boot camp in the elite group and I know I talk about it all the time, but yeah, the boot camp is in the elite group and we're also hosting another one tomorrow. Um, going over back testing, so it's going to be tons and tons of repetition and examples. It'll be around the same time that it is right now. Uh, but again, we're going to host it tomorrow and then we'll post that one up there too. So we'll have roughly, we'll have over about 10 to 12 hours of content at that point. Right now, we have about seven hours in the bootcamp tab content. Um, and then, of course, the daily analysis right over here, the step by step trading. Um, we are 39 and what was it? 39 and where is it? 39 and 17 on our record right now. But this is basically my step by step trading. This is my signals. But I do my best to make the signals as educated, um, or, sorry, as educating as possible for you guys. Not only are you guys just like mindlessly quote unquote following me, but like you guys are actually like applying yourself and understanding what we're seeing and why we're seeing it and how we're approaching it, right? Am I gonna put stops at break even? Am I gonna take partials here? Am I gonna extend my stop loss? If so, why? You know, what is the reason behind doing the things that I do? So if you wanna check out the elite group, you guys can go ahead and check out the group that, or sorry, the link that comes through right now for Discord. Um, and again, tomorrow is going to be that boot camp. So any new members that join, you'll be, you'll have access to that. It's going to be like, like I said, probably like two, three hours in the same time today. Mindless followers. Yes, master. Um, let me see, man. Chat over there. Yeah. What was your name one more time? Osa? Cause like, check it out. I don't know if it's cause you're not on the app right now, but you see how I only see these three names. Oh, this guy I'll verify cause he has like a real picture. Um, What's your name one more time and then come in here like hop off of the stream or whatever and then open the app again so i see your name and then once i see your name um i'll be able to kind of like verify you manually i'll, I'll leave it up real quick until i see you <laughs> yes master uh what do you mean by that left is just joking like just having a good time you know a little flavor a little zest best yo what up and then who is that is that is that Mo right there? Long time no see, guys. How you doing? I still can't pronounce. I still can't pronounce your name. I need the Discord name to pronounce your name. <laughs> I was just talking about how I can't pronounce Arabic um, characters and I can't announce like any type of Asian characters, right? Um, <laughs> at least with like Spanish and other languages, I can kind of, uh, you know, <laughs> I can kind of at least like piece together something. <laughs> uh, which I did, but it's not allowing. Maybe try making a new Discord account. I don't know why you're having issues. I don't think anyone else has had issues. Has anyone else had issues joining? Kareem, what's good? <laughs> what's good? What's good? Uh, how is the economic? Um, I was listening to TJ and Mr. Mindless followers. Um, how is the economic situation in the U.S.? Economic situation in the U.S. is mids. Um, it, it's mids. Yeah, it's mids. Like, especially in California. Just living in California is just mids in terms of um, economics. Right? Like, everything's just overpriced. It's just... It's ridiculous. Um, but anyway, it's like... I mean, overall U.S., I don't really know because I don't live in all the other states, but just feeling it in, you know, California, like, it's just mids, mids, mids. Oh, your name is Tallis? Okay, I got you, bro. Tallis is verified. Uh, you still got the MyForex on Discord? Yeah, I just haven't removed it. 
I'm waiting to see if they ever or yeah, they're, they're probably never going to make an announcement, but I want to be there and read what they have to say if they ever do come out with any updates. Um, and then, yes, I'm not sure if it's a free one. Yeah, correct. You got the free one. Nice, guys. We have 150 likes today. That's freaking awesome. That's super, super cool. And then, um, uh, Yeah, Lomo, I don't even see... Oh, wait, never mind, never mind. Let me look here. Hey, just join. 17. Um, I'm going to add you as a friend real quick. I'm going to add you as a friend. I'll get you a personal invite, and then let's see if I can get it going from there. Uh, take any trades today. The only trade we looked at was a US 30 trade. That was an L. And then this beautiful trade on oil. Well, I can't. Here, I just got to show you the replay. Oh, forgot. I can't. When did we get in? Let me mark this up again. One sec. Let me get, let me get this accurate. Let me get this right. Because I only posted, I only posted me getting stomped out on oil by one pip on um on the IG. So I gotta get those levels. So we entered at ninety oh seven. Uh, you trade SPX? <clears throat> I don't. Not so much. I mean, I'm not. I'm not opposed to it. I'm not opposed of it though. Like to it. So nineteen oh seven is where we entered. Uh, stop loss was. 89.72. Um, and then TPU is just targeting these highs. Um, so let's go ahead and look at it. Um, let's see. Okay. So then we can put that. Oh, that's my entry. I see it right here. 19.07. Boom. Stop loss was here, and I was trying. Oh, perfect, perfect! I see you right now, bro. Boom, Lomo, you're verified, my boy. I, I did like a sniper entry on that verification, bro. I saw your name pop in there, and I was like, boom, on it. Yeah. So this was my trade setup uh, this morning. This is actually the one that I lost. I get these highs here um yeah i thought whoops i thought my stop loss was going to be a little bit hefty um but i should have known better right i went below these lows but i knew that i should have given it something more realistic like this i should have realistically just put my stops down there because we do know um and this is going to be something i talk about uh tomorrow during the boot camp but basically it's oil before it pushes like if it's going to a supply or demand or whatever the case is it's always going to break structure first right it's like normally when you see liquidity, you see liquidity get grabbed and like, let's say it, it tests the lows, right? Oil's a, a unique pair. Um, and basically it breaks the lows and then you get the aggressive push. So for me, I was looking at it and I was felt very confident after I saw this five minute candle. Because what did it do? Um, after after I got stomped out, I already knew it was kind of going to happen because we've seen this play out many, many times on oil. It breaks the lows. You get that you get this specific candle formation. Okay. And then boom, the rest is history, right? And it did very, very well. It kind of consolidated around this area for a little bit. That was fine. We still kind of watched it, made sure the double bottom held here. And then, you know, as you can see, it shot up. But pretty, pretty nice. Pretty, pretty nice. Um, guys, I learned from Anthony Williams, which is like Q Banks, right hand man. Um, I took a five day boot camp. It was two day sessions. Um, and I did that in 2021. Um, which is really cool. And then I also did Doyle Exchange's um, supply and demand. Okay, also did his supply and demand uh, course, which is really cool. And he taught me a lot too. So now I'm kind of like a hybrid of the two. Like I do trade with supply and demand, support and resistance, um, you know, like Doyle, but I just kind of have a, a mixture of really kind of where I, like, where my key levels are, right? My key levels are based off of like the higher time frame stuff that I learned from Anthony Williams. And then I break it down and then I catch my scalps using the higher time frames to hopefully help me out with, you know, the bigger time frame moves. Like 
get in on those sniper entries with the smaller time frame and then move with the bigger time frame. Does that make sense? Um, you know, so like that's really like the way that you know, I approach the market and like how I try to teach people. Um, it's a very unique style. Um, I'm not saying it's the absolute best style. I think there's millions of ways to make money in the market. So like, guys, if your viewpoint doesn't align with me and you guys are making money, like stick to your viewpoint, right? Um, you know, if you're profitable, what you're doing is working for you. So stick to it. Um, just how I trade, you know, works for me personally, and it makes sense to me. Um, so that's why I've stuck with it for, you know, over a year and a half now, right? Um, I've, you know, the whole other, you know, what was that? Three and a half years of trading uh, that I had, like built me up to that point. And then that year and a half mark, I found the solidity or solidity. I found like that concrete strategy that I kind of wanted to follow. And I've just been executing ever since then. And it's been all gravy, baby. Like we've been killing it. And then Lomo, welcome to the elites, man. Thank you so much for that. Appreciate you. You're gonna have a great time, brother. Um, let's... What do you think about uh, US 30 for the last few hours? Um, actually, good question. I'm gonna check that out. Okay, so if it's 11:30, then that means it's gonna be. Yeah. Well, guys. What did Lafta say? Lafta said we have to hit 10 elite members today. Well, we got one. So now there's only nine more. There's only nine more. <laughs> okay. Um, somebody said to look at, what was it? US 30? Um, it's still kind of just doing what we expected it to do, right? Um, just still consolidating. We tested the highs here before, but we're still kind of holding stability on the lower time frames in these lows here. So. Um, it's just a matter of time and just waiting. It's a low volume session. So like I said, there's a potential that, you know, maybe this gets weak enough and we do break slightly up into here, right? But then we fall back down and then by power hour, we'll be back in this area. And then that's when we'll see like the real push up and hopefully get that momentum that we've been looking for for pretty much the whole day here. Does that make sense? Um, if you have a 5k account, what lot size can we use for US 30? Um, so, so I haven't traded a 5k in a while. It all depends on the broker. Okay? It all depends on the broker. I always say if you're going to trade US 30 or NASDAQ or anything like that, you should always just start off with a 0 0.01 and get a feel for it, right? Because your brokers are always going to have like different, um, they're going to have US 30 weighted differently. For instance, like, Inco Trade treats US 30 as more of like a micro pair, um, you know, but other people treat it as like a normal pair. And when it's when US 30 is weighted like normal, it's very, it's a very, very heavy pair. You don't need much to make a lot, you know? Uh, Primo, 0.5 is good. What's that? What's a, what's a, a 0.5 risking at like, let's say a, a 10 point stop loss? Is that $50 or is that $5? Am I funded? No, I'm not funded. I make my personal money off my personal account. We do try and document the process of getting funded live on the live stream. I do my best to kind of call trades with you and take trades with you, um, you know, that way. But we haven't been funded on the live stream yet. I've been funded twice. I've been funding with Apex Trader. I've been funded with my, <laughs> my frozen funds, <laughs> um, you know, so. I've been funded before, but I have been funded on the live stream. So that's kind of like the journey we're on. I'm trying to do it. You know, I've blown accounts here on the live stream. 
right? So um, I'm just showing you guys the good, the bad, the ugly. I'm trying to be as transparent as possible. Um, it's a different type of psychological battle with like not only myself, um, you know, but just the markets when I'm on here on the live stream trying to trade. Um, it's just a different environment, man, right? Uh, people have noticed that I feed off the energy, right? So if like negativity fills, fills the stream, um, <laughs> if negative energy fills the stream, then it kind of fuels my charts too. And my charts aren't really like, they don't really vibe, right? And, and you guys could see it, like you could see it live here. It's actually, it'd be a cool um, social study if you guys wanted to kind of see like our social experiment. See the, see the way that the market feeds off my energy, right? Because it, it affects my decision making. It's, a, it's an interesting thing. Um, what time of day is your main trading hours? So I trade Monday through Friday at 7.30 a.m. PST right here on the live stream. And if you guys join my elites, I go live with you guys around five o'clock in the morning during the week um or if i trade london we won't trade early morning and we'll just come on the live stream like i did last night uh, but for the most part like you're getting at least like three four days most likely of trading new york session with me early morning which is pretty dope and i am a full-time trader now yeah. so i used to have a management position with the company um you know made a ton of money was doing it i loved it for a long time i was there for seven years and then i got to the point where i felt like a glass ceiling was being put on my head um and I was always trading in the background and there would be days where like I'd make my paycheck in a day and things like that. And, you know, like <clears throat> that was because I was flipping accounts. I'll be honest, like it wasn't consistent. But the matter was the, the fact was that it showed me the possibilities of what we could do. in the market, Right. And I and I took that and I ran that. So, um, you know, as soon as that ceiling was put on my head, I set myself up for success by making sure that one, I had the conversation with myself where it's like, OK, like you're making a ton of money. You're losing a ton of money. What do we need to be consistent? Clearly what you're doing right now isn't working. And my missing piece was actually like a solid trading plan and solid risk management, okay? Because your trading plan needs to have that solid risk management piece in there. And if it doesn't, um, it's gonna be tough, right? So it took me about six months of being super, super consistent for me to feel confident in my skill set to go ahead and take that leap and bet on myself. And you know, it's been it's been about 10 months, 11 months now. Um, and I don't I don't plan on ever looking back. It's really amazing. So um you know thank you to the community for you know allowing me to kind of share everything that i know with you guys taking the time to be realistic with me right it's not all sunshine and rainbows but it's real right and that's what we are here so you know if you want to see if you want to see the screenshots of the profit and everything like that if you want me to go flex or anything like that like this isn't the channel this is the channel to kind of just teach right i want to teach you guys i want to document my own journey of getting funded live um and just chill man uh, so Osa, for for you, um, for you, it's gonna be for you, it's gonna be seven about seven fifteen around around seven to seven fifteen is when I'll go. I'll be getting live, um, in the Discord with the elites. And if anyone else is interested in joining the elite Discord, you guys are more than welcome to. All you guys gotta do is click that link right there. We do have an, a a lifetime option as well. Um, the lifetime option is at sorrybroke.com. It's the pinned comment. Um, you know, in the chat, so if you guys want to check that out. It's three hundred dollars. It's going to be going up to six hundred in January. Okay, so don't sleep on that opportunity. Um, I was actually going to take it down yesterday, but we ended up getting a couple uh, more. I, I guess like more interest in it. Got a couple more people interested in it. Um, we got them hooked up and taken care of. And you know, like it's Friday. Why not give it one more day and see if anyone else is interested? In lifetime. Um, and if they are, cool. But if not. I definitely need to take it off this weekend because it's like it kind of ruins the value if I just leave it up there the whole time until the price increase. Does that make sense? Um, but the cool thing is about the monthly, like the monthly will just stay the same flat rate um, all the way up until January. You guys are going to have plenty, plenty of time. And Peyton, what's good, man? Welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for that sub and all the love. Guys, we got 162 likes. That is actually astronomical. We are kind of on the up and up. Can we get to it, hey guys? Real quick, um, where are you guys all from in the chat? Let's uh, let's welcome each and every one of you guys. Uh, we haven't done this in a while. Uh, I try to do it at least once a stream, maybe two times a stream. It all just depends like how many people we got. But like, what's good, guys? Where are you guys all from? Type in the chat. Let me hear from you guys. I know we got people all over the world. There's trading all over the world, which is what brings us together. Um, it's absolutely amazing, man. Oh, my. Oh, my.
Uh, Wayne's from the UK. What's up, Wayne? Uh, we got Pakistan in there from Karim. Yeah, uh, Yonkers, New York. Every time I hear Yonkers, I think of uh, Tyler, the Creator song. <laughs> um, let's see, let's see. What, what else we got over here? What else we got over here? Los Angeles. That's right, Lafta. Lafta, we need to go get coffee. What, what's the deal? Come on. We need to go get coffee. You're too close. How many people we got in LA, man? Like, how many members we actually got in LA? Uh, we got, uh, what else we got? Los Angeles, we got Miami, we got Arizona. Uh, Jack, how have you been in, how, Jack, how have you been enjoying your time in the elites, brother? I haven't talked to you in a while, man. I hope you're still doing good. I hope you've enjoyed yourself in here. Hopefully we've gained some value to you. Um, and you've really just been enjoying yourself. Um, Joseph is from the UK as well. We got Sheila in Nevada. Love from South Africa. We got Austin, Nigeria, MD, USA. We got France. Shout out from the Philippines, Croatia. Um, I'm in the place that sees English, not America. <laughs> like to said, meet, meet me at norms. Uh, from South Africa with love and prosperity. Hello, friends. And South Africa. We love it. Dope, man. A lot of people in here today. Awesome, guys. Um, we did, I, like, I didn't put an actual, like, note on what we were trying to hit for subs today. But, guys, we, we crushed the sub goal. Because, honestly, we hit 10.9k subs and, like, Next step is 11k. The giveaway is coming up. The giveaway is coming up soon. Um, but I for sure want to put at least like three p. I want to give at least the elite give the elite um at least a way to three people, right? I want to give them. I want to give them access for a month for at least three people. Um, just see if they even like it. Right? Give them like a little trial run. It would be a great giveaway. A lot of opportunities there. US 30. Come on, man. Like, I'm up, up, but I need to be up, up, up. You feel me? Uh, like for liquidity. What's up, Blanks? How you doing, brother? <laughs> Likes for liquidity. <laughs> Speaking of liquidity, I was liquidity today, my boy. Uh, love it in the Discord. I'm trying to get more time in there. I feel you, man. Let, let me see. What's the time? Uh, AZ? Okay, the time difference isn't too bad for you. Um, is there any way, um, you know, is there anything that I could do to help you out in terms of kind of giving you some more, like more time, like, you know, kind of help you out in terms of getting in there? Um, you know, if maybe I can make some adjustments on some scheduling or maybe like help you out if you're more of like a night shift type person or whatever the case is. Um, Blank said, chilling, woke up late, so missed the markets, but I'm still up for the week. I love it, bro. Today, this week was a rough week for me, man. Not going to lie. Um, this trade would have probably made up for almost all of it, but it still didn't hit. So unfortunate right we would have loved to hit the full uh i think it was like 22 122 you know but got stomped out by one pip it is what it is there'll be more trading setups not going to really stress it or try to force anything really that's why we're taking today off and we're just kind of vibing okosi is from nigeria that's awesome <laughs> i know it's funny that you said it's part of the game i literally i made an ig story um <laughs> i made an ig story of this and i just went Charge it to the game. Charge it to the game, baby. We love that stuff. And then Dripless. What's good? You're from Greenland. What's good? I think that's the first time anyone's ever said that they've been from uh, Greenland, man. That's dope. Super sick. Indices? Yeah, I trade indices as well, Mark. Uh, or Mac. Is that a... Oh my gosh, Mac, I love you. Mac, I literally love you. That's a triple kill emblem from Halo. I freaking love you, man. We're already best friends. A time to double down on the boot camp vid. I feel you. Hey, Luis, we're going to don't even trip, bro. We're going to back test this week. Like I said, it was a losing week for me, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm back testing with all the elites. We're going to host like a mini boot camp. So again, if anyone's trying to join that mini boot camp, it's literally $50 a month. Um, even if you guys just want to pop in and review the last boot camp, plus this boot camp that we're going to host tomorrow and be there live and ask all of your questions. Um, this is going to be a, a perfect opportunity for you guys to hop in on that. Okay. Uh, the way you'll do that is right here at that Discord link. And then, like I said, like you guys can cancel your membership like the second you join. That's fine. You know, stay the month, but get the education piece out of it, right? Um, especially if you guys are interested in kind of being a part um, or wanting to like trade like me. Like if my trade setups look simple to you, you like, you know, the results that you see from each and every live stream and things like that. Um, and you kind of want to see how I manage risk, kind of my mindset, a little bit more information about me. The boot camps are going to be the place to do that. Right, so for fifty dollars, like the boot camps alone are already um, like 
they're, they're literally it's already like it's already like overvalued um i traded ict and i saw a high resistance that is why price went lower on oil um but i like this live though i'm from south africa by the way hey what's good guys i think south africa might be one of the biggest supporters of the stream um those mff uh, transcripts are pretty bad which what what do you mean about the trans are you talking about like what they were typing about uh or what they were sending messages to about and things like that um Carabo, thank you so much for the support man appreciate you love from south africa love from uh, usa all the way over to you guys uh how do you feel when you trade uh gets hit by sophilized by one pip and it goes into your direction i just kind of laugh about it um you know like there's nothing i can do like I could have re-entered on this, but I was already in the losing trade on US 30, right? So there's no point in me to expedite my risk and throw more risk out there when I'm already in a low, like a, a high risk position, right? Because it's in the negative. Um, <clears throat> but for me, it's like, you should honestly be honored that you called this trade because getting stomped out by one pip, that's an easy fix. Adjust your stop levels. Give, yourself, give your trades a little bit more room to breathe. If you're going to trade on the five, target a 15 minute low, right? So, I mean, it's, that's how I look at it. That's how I look at it. It's all a mindset thing though, right? You could let it, you know, you could let it build you up or you could let it break you down. What are you going to let it do? You, you have the option to choose, right? Um, so yeah, that's how I feel about it, guys. But I'm going to go a quick little intermission right here. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Let me get some music playing. I don't even know what happened here. Okay, it's because this playlist isn't as long. This playlist is a, uh, uh, what is this? Synth wave playlist, okay? This is like some Dr. Disrespect stuff right here. All right, now we're going on intermission. Two seconds.
Alright. Let's see. I just heard... I just heard you... I did, <laughs> scram! <laughs> No, I just heard, uh, I heard, <laughs> I heard, <laughs> I heard Lance, and I, I hear him go, it's full port Friday! <laughs> Guys! The pineapple works amazing, like, like, Don Bo's pineapple works amazing if you do it and you space that shit out correctly. <laughs> you can't, you can't do it on the one minute time frame. <laughs> you can't. <laughs> oh, shit. My bad, my bad. Sorry, like the, the stream's probably like, why is this guy just tweaking right now? There's nobody talking. <laughs> uh. <laughs> no, Blinks, I, I trade the same way, man. I just called it double trade. Uh, he, he put pineapple behind it, but I, um, I do it the same way. The way I do it is I just kind of look for like my next structure, my next important structural points, right? Um, yeah, so like you just have to understand market structure. Like if everything's still valid and it makes sense to add on to it, um, to help offset your risk and allow you to get out of your first position and hold the second position, right? It, it really does offset risk very, very well. That really helped me, um, on my live capital accounts too. That really took me to the level, um, you know, when I was trying to make it to that profitable. So it's been absolutely amazing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, hello, I've been waiting for gold to hit 1930. Yeah, but we also have to take note of like these lows here, right? In the little overlap. And you see how you see how this is a bullish candle and immediate uh bearish engulfing on the 30. We know that on the we know that on the um like probably like the hour time frame this is a liquidity grab and it probably if i had to guess looks very beautiful coming out of your 30 minute um supply so let's let's check it out perfect just what i said liquidity grab out of the one hour supply and we fell aggressively right now we're retesting but where do we retest do you really think that we would be able to kind of go up to the upside here personally i think it would be really hard to kind of do that we wanted it to Right, but because this candle, or sorry, this falling candle failed to do so, now we have to take it in the perspective of like a double top being formed here, okay? Uh, potentially like a four hour double top, right? Because it's a triple top on the one hour. So maybe on the four hour, it looks a little bit more appetizing or like the three hour, um, but the, the point is still valid, okay? We held structure here. We've already tapped into supply here. So price coming up into this supply one more time and then falling off aggressively makes sense. <clears throat> Uh, let's see. If you were able to live the life cycle of a person on 80k a year through trading, what would you do with your free time? Uh, that's basically what I'm doing right now, man. Um, I just chill. I just help people. <laughs> I just help people. But I, I also have like bigger aspirations, right? Like I, I want more for myself, my life, my wife, and you know my family, right? So for me, Joe, it's like trading is a great source of income for me. Right? It's my main source of income. I'm like diversifying now like I got my elite groups right I got the YouTube um, and then the next up is like you know with those couple streams of income I'm basically saving up and what we're gonna do is we're gonna buy a house and then my wife and I have a business plan for that house um, that we're gonna execute on right and then not only can I run the business of like the stream and everything through there um, you know she could run her business through there so it's gonna be another source of income for us and you know everything just kind of compounds right um, so i mean it's nice like for right now like i have a i have like a different mindset right so for me like i was making really good money at my management job but for me the time the time there wasn't worth what i was sacrificing right in terms of the risk reward there's risk reward in life believe it or not okay so my risk reward ratio was a little off and i was feeling like it was off okay so for me like i had to get out of there and I had to do something that is going to benefit me in the long run and take care of my family in the long run um you know so um, a bunch of my family friends, uh, or a bunch of my friends make over 100k, but we live in SF, so they live pretty average. Yeah, that's what I'm seeing. Callie's, Callie's ridiculous planks. 
that is actually ridiculous bro. like if, if you actually take trading seriously and everything like that you're not gonna even want to live in sf you're <laughs> if you're gonna stay in california you're probably coming down to like oc um but even at that point like is it really worth it to stay in oc you know because it's not i mean it's not that's much better i mean like technically sf is oc it's just a way way different <laughs> i think like the vibes out there are different than oc oc is like very snobby i didn't get snobby vibes when i went to uh san francisco maybe i didn't go to the right places but i didn't really get those snobby vibes It's just techie, uh, techie SF. Okay. Cause like OC is kind of more like, uh, like down in this area, it's more like, I would say like snobby, right? Like a bunch of business owners, uh, like get weird looks. Like if you don't, if you don't fit the part, if you're not driving your Tesla through Irvine, you're like, you're irrelevant, right? Like why is this Honda Civic driving through Irvine right now? No, it just doesn't make sense. Like you need a minimum, a Tesla, you need a, at least a model three to cruise through Irvine um okay downtown sf is like that got you uh can you check uj yeah I can check uj how close is how close is silicon valley to uh like is it con is silicon valley like considered like sf like in that area Uh, Joe, what are you talking about in terms of public services? Like, which public services? Oh, real quick, before I move over to this pair, can I show you guys what we're seeing on gold? Because I kind of just saw something. Uh, let me go back to the hour. Um, I want I want you guys to take note of this, right? Because we are falling off from here, um, we need to understand what is potentially forming here. Uh, some of you guys, if you've watched me trade a lot, you guys know that I love these. Um, but this is a left shoulder. Okay, this is your head, and then potentially a right shoulder forming here, okay, and a 200 MA. So if we're coming into what it looks to be probably like 15 minute, 30 minute demand, an hour time frame, um, or you could even do that. that makes sense. There you go, you do that. Now you have your new hour demand being that right shoulder at the 200 MA. This has been a very profitable setup for us in the past um, that we've seen, you know, this is, if we get the negative, or sorry, the positive reaction out of here, it could be this could be the fill that we need, right? But maybe we don't get that till Sunday or whatever the case is. Um, how are they? Public transport? Um, I've taken the bus all the way down Beach Boulevard one time when I was a kid, but I've never really done like public transport. It's not very, it's not very popular in California. Um, it might be more popular in like like deep LA because it's kind of it's horrendous driving through LA. But um, you know, public transportation is more of yeah, I only had like one experience with that, and it was, it was it was a little rough. But I mean, it was it was doable. It wasn't crazy, you know. Some people do need to actually, um, yeah, you know, people do actually need to use the bus and go to work and things like that. I know when I lived in Long Beach a lot, I felt like Long Beach, Long Beach's public service was a lot more active, if you will. Like I felt like I I, I noticed a lot more public transportation going on in Long Beach. Um, and also, when you go more towards Disneyland, um, you'll see that. And then CS, um, you got a new playlist? Yeah, so the problem is, is I can't see any of the tiles that tell me what playlist is what. I have to click on each individual one, and it's like a guessing game. So I found one that could get get us through the day today, which is a synth wave. It reminds me of Dr. Disrespect, if any of you guys watching. I love his streams. Um, public transportation um, in the Bay Area is pretty good. Is like taking the train? Aside from the hobos and robberies. Okay, so, bro. Okay, check out this story. The homies went to a concert in downtown LA, um, and they had to park far away. Okay, they parked far away. They had to take the train. I think they had to take the train to the actual venue. Um, and they ended up, like, using the restroom after when they were going back, right? After the event or whatever. And the girl, <laughs> my guy's, my guy's girl, um, 
she went in the women's restroom she's just waiting 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 right and like the only people in there are like hardcore tweakers right like we're talking clearly homeless like you know obviously down on their luck but like clearly tweaked out too um you know and one of them came in like out of nowhere and she was about to be the next one the stall opens and then this like tweaker comes in like i need to use the restroom right now can i go honey can i go and she's like yeah sure no worries and then like you know five minutes later all of a sudden like another one comes out of the bathroom and she has her freaking arm like strapped up with a needle still in it and she goes can you help me my i can't get it with my nails can you untie this for me sweetie and she just walked out bro she's just like are you kidding me but that's like a glimpse of like the real life la like everyone thinks it's all movie stars this that and the other thing it's like no bro it's like in any big city in california like that is most of the time like tweak central and it sucks it's sad man there's a huge problem huge 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 skid row is like it's depressing going driving through skid row it's depressing going in that area um i've taken the train uh from no cow to so cow vice versa a few times that was a nice experience um it goes through um it goes through uh like pch right there's a uh, there's a uh, track that goes along all the beaches. It's a beautiful site. Actually, that's a good idea, Blinks. That might be a fun trip to take with my wife. I might come visit you up in SF. I haven't been there in years, man. Last time I stopped through SF was when I was a kid taking a road trip up. Um, heard America in general, excluding New York, struggled with public transportation. So that's good to hear um yeah but but joe also like also if you're talking about like like there is no comparison to public transportation when you're putting into account like let's say like italy like when i went to italy like the train was like a normal thing right like everyone just pops on the train go here go there go whatever um you can take the train all through germany uh france and all that stuff uh which is a really cool experience and that's actually very very popular the train station was crazy it was like i was in an episode of harry potter like i've never seen anything in my life um so it was really cool now, if we were talking about, um, you know, like, if we're talking about, like, in comparison to that, or in comparison to, like, Japan, like, California and, like, all the other places are really behind. The only one that might be up there slightly would be, like, New York. But even then, I still feel like, yeah, it's a decent system. It works. But again, it's still kind of, like, sketchy. Like, you don't want to be in the subways. It's much better in certain cities. Uh, but again, I'm, I'm not educated on that. Like, I can't say, I can't talk on subways because I've actually never been to New York. I've never been to the East Coast and experienced that. Um, my brother's in Boston right now. I think he's saying public transportation is actually pretty decent in Boston, I think. Um, the problem is all three of cities are suffering from other issues. Uh, we were up in SF on a family trip for Thanksgiving two years ago. How'd you like it, Ink? Yeah, my brother's my brother is graduating from MIT this year, so I'm I'm probably gonna take a trip out there to go visit him uh, for his graduation. Well, not this year, I guess next year, right? But like, the school year's already started. Homelessness and crime, for example, are rampant in LA, SF, New York, and DC. So it's it's not fun taking public transportation through. What was your Airbnb experience in um, in SF? I would imagine Airbnbs in SF are probably pretty pretty upkept, right? Because the the whole general area of SF is pretty bougie. I loved it once we got into our Airbnb located at the Apple campus. <laughs> what? Your Airbnb was on the Apple campus? Nutty. Petaluma. Uh, 
Um, so this is another example of what I've talked about on oil too, right? So watch this, watch this. Okay, what do you guys notice from here? This is my go-to strategy on oil every single time, every single time, guys. Um, we break the lows, like I told you before for our first entry today, right? We break the lows, we grab liquidity, it respects the demand that it broke, right? When it grabbed liquidity, and then you get these lower time frame movements that are just nutty, like absolutely nutty, right? And then look, as we grab liquidity down there, what did we do? We we made a perfect double bottom on the one minute. Crazy, crazy, crazy stuff, man. Um, I visited Skid Row when I visited. That was pretty rough to see. Dangerous uh, driving a second time in there, apparently, as the locals might suspect they hit. Yeah, man, it's crazy out there. Have you guys, um, there's a channel on YouTube. I wish I knew his name exactly to kind of give it to you. Um, but he, what he does is he goes and he goes and explores like homeless camps and things like that. He's been to Skid Row. He's been to, I don't know if you guys heard this, but in, um, in New York, there's actually like in their, where is it? They call them like the underground people. I don't know, but they literally live in like a, a, uh, a, a, a sewer drain no rain rain runoff um area right and they all live down there in the dark man it's, it's crazy it's crazy uh my this is my viewpoint on um yeah, most traders learn gold us the community needs to learn oil yeah that's what i'm saying yeah they're just people in the end but it's just crazy and like they go in there and they talk about it and they see their experiences and like you know, the, some of the stories that you hear, um, you know, some of the stories that you hear are just, you know, take your breath away. You're like, dude, like that, like, that's what you went through. And it's kind of like a humbling experience, you know, like it's almost makes it to where it's very hard for you to not be so like grateful for where you're at in life. Right. Because there's people out there living like that and they're still grateful. And it's like you wake up every morning in a bed and you eat breakfast. You know, you have family that loves you. And like these people are are like lost. Right, but they're not bad people. Um, let me see. So you said, yeah, they have a super mall for those employees, a few high-end apartment complexes. Most traders are in gold. Uh, there's people in the end. Most mo, mole people of New York. They are staying in the old aspect of New York. Okay, so New York had the same uh, the same situation. And most people live in storm drains. A lot of people live under in Vegas. It, like. Like the community in Vegas is like next level. Like it's uh, it's crazy, man. And they they don't get like basically what I took out of that video um, after listening to the to the interviews is like most of these people want to better their lives. Like they want to go get a job and things like that, and like really like get out of their living situation. The thing is, is in Arizona or not Arizona, um, Nevada right now. You know where Vegas is. The issue right now with that is that they are ha they will not issue um a license to these people so out throughout the years of being homeless they lose their license they cannot get another one and the issue with that is you cannot get whoops you cannot get um a job without your license like you need some type of identification right so that's the issue that i would say probably about 75 yeah 75 70 percent of them um all down there were saying you know Uh, some of them also don't agree with modern society, which is understandable, or like you said, escaping a situation far worse. Right, right, right. Because there were some people that they interviewed, where it was like, I was a musician, right? And, you know, I did this for X, Y, and Z. And, you know, I had a falling out with my girlfriend. And, you know, as soon as, you know, we broke up, I, I wasn't living with her anymore. And, you know, I was out on the streets. And honestly, like, it wasn't as bad as people make it out to be. Because there are people that enjoy being homeless. Um, you know? Like there are people that enjoy being out on the streets and like that's just their lifestyle. It's not like they're it's not like they're doing anything crazy or not, you know, cracked out on drugs or anything. Like they just actually prefer to be out there. That's their life that they want. Um, I would 100% be homeless if I didn't have any support from family or friends. 
Yeah, but I mean, there's got to be like more to that, right? Like, like if you don't have support for family or friends, like there has to be a life event that I I feel like would would trigger the fall, right? Because I don't think people wake up in the morning and say like, I want to give up today, right? There has to be a trigger to get to that point. So unless that were to happen, I think that you would be okay. Right? Even if your friend's family didn't support you, right? You'll still be okay. But if you have one of those moments that puts you like down in there, then that's the situation where it's like, yeah, that, you know, it, it's not far off. It, oh, I do? Yeah. Uh, but I have a lot of unresolved trauma and mental health issues. Well, best thing to do, man, is just, it's take care of yourself, right? Like do what you have to do to, to kind of have stuff taken care of. Um, I'm, I'm friends with a, a therapist actually, and he kind of talks about this stuff. So like the trauma of past events, actually what happens is there's a, a cortex in your brain, right? And it's supposed to be free flowing. But what happens is the trauma gets stuck in the cortex and it gets wedged in there and it can't get out. Um, so with therapy and things like that, they wiggle it, wiggle it, wiggle it, and eventually can take it out. Um, but it has, it's, it's constant work and development on that. Um, you know, and they even have like, what's that thing? The light thing. So if they talk about a memory or whatever, right. And then they could, they do something with a light. I forgot what type of therapy it's called, but that's the part that I'm talking about in terms of like wedging out that trauma. So like, you'll see a lot of that with like PTSD patients and things like that. Um, and then also like, like, never mind. I, I won't talk about it, but I, uh, mm, no, it's fine. I'll let Lance talk about that another time. <laughs> Let's see uh that let me see but i have a lot of on me <laughs> even when i'm doing great i have terrible moments right but we got to balance out the good right like if we focus on on the one bad but we're missing out on the two good um i've been in and out of therapy in my life yeah looking okay that's what it's called thank you ink look into neuro neuro light therapy if you haven't already um i feel like if you've already kind of like went through like the whole therapy thing you might have probably already dabbled into that um i do know that my sister went through the neuro light therapy for kind of like some trauma that she had growing up um and for her it's i've seen like a change in her like for, for the good like positive change um that your long red line which tool can you use give me that please yeah so it is actually this tool right here um, it will be right under, it'll be number two, um, if you go down, be number two on your left hand side. It has a dot and then a line through it. It's called horizontal line. Really, really good conversation still, guys. I really do appreciate you guys, you know, opening up. Like, this is what the community is all about, right? We're here to be vulnerable. We're here to be, um, just there for each other. That's like the whole point of this community, right? Is to support one another. Obviously, it's a trading channel. We're here on that journey, but like there's so much that goes into trading, um, you know, and a lot of it is mental, right? And, you know, mental health is a big issue. Very, very important. How we deal with it and how we overcome it is, you know, it can almost at the end of the day, like, find us, right? So it's very, uh, it's very important to take it seriously. That's why I always mention like, hey, like, I'm going to take today off. I don't, I don't feel right. Right. Like my mind is just, um, like my mind, like my mind is just right. You know, like I told you guys, um, what was it? There was, there was a time when I was just like, bro, like I just kind of need to reset guys. Cause what it is like, you can see it in my trading, right? See it in my life. And sometimes you just need to reset. Everyone has their own reset button, right? I have mine. I can't really, I can't really like talk about mine on stream. Right. But it's okay. It, it's, I, you know, I have, I have ways that, you know, I deal with stress and cope and things like that. So, um, everyone will have their own take on it, right? Some people go ride mountain bikes. Some people go drive their car. People go on a vacation, just like many different ways to combat it. Um, electric messaging, uh, between neurons needs to be repaired. Yes, sir. We're all here for you, brother. By the way, if there is anyone that has not subscribed to the channel already, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Turn on post notifications. My name is TJ. We go live Monday through Friday at 7.30 a.m. PST. So again, if you guys are enjoying yourself, don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe to the channel. 
you guys are looking for the elite discord you guys want to take signals with me as you guys know we just had a really good conversation right now we're still kind of in it i'm taking a little intermission to kind of get all this information out of there because people are probably confused they're like yo what's this guy talking about bro he's got a chart up but he's talking about neurons and light and stuff like that like whoa 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 it all comes together guys it all makes sense trust um <laughs> But no, Blanks, that's good. That's good, man. Because the thing is, is that I've been through there, like, I've had very dark times in my life too, right? And I'm very open about my journey as well. Um, you know, because I feel like if you had to hide it, you you aren't overcoming it, right? But if you could talk about it, you're overcoming it. Uh, where is my dog? Right next to me. He's on the right. I don't know why he lays there now. He has this beautiful couch right here, right? And my boy always just sits on the freaking floor, dude. Why you do that, Apollo? I'm talking about you, bro. Um, that is great. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Guys, ten fifteen. This power candle is looking great. Darkest days turn into brightest nights. Agreed, man. Agreed. Everyone has to. Everyone overcomes their stuff, you know, like in different ways. And I learned for me that like. If you're so open about everything going on in your life, your insecurities about what's happened in the past can't be used against you because you're already open. You're already telling everyone about it. You know, what are they going to do? Tell everyone everything they already know? I was like, it doesn't really line up for me like that. And when I was young, like I had a hard time talking about everything, but now that I'm older, bro, like I talk about everything. I'll let you guys all know. Uh, shout out to Apollo. Yeah, man. Or where's the Apollo emoji? It's somewhere in here. Shout out to Apollo. Oh, my wife. Um, my wife took this picture and she actually made me a uh, <laughs> a thing for my Crocs. Hang, hang on. Hey, look at this. Look at this. Check this out. Check this out. Yes. Oh, oh, where is it? Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, can you see him? Hey, sh the shoe game's strong though, for real, huh? I know that shoe game's strong. Oh, puppies are asking about you. Me. Big boy. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing, fool? <laughs> Shout out to Apollo. Hi. Um, not the Crocs, dude. They're comfy, bro. They're comfy, and they're they're like easy. They're like easy disposal. You know, just slip on, slip off. I I'm like a beach kid, bro. I hate putting on shoes. So honestly, any type of like slipper is kind of my go-to, man. Not to mention, I have a Filipino wife. You know, slippers are a big part of our game here. Um, you know, it, it took time to grow on me. You know, I used to just go barefoot <laughs> or wear like my Vans with no socks. <laughs> my little classics. Uh, where are they? A little black and white Vans. Yes, sir. What it was his snellas. What does that mean? Is that like a is that a word? I, I don't know Tagalog like that. I know just salama. That's it. Um, baba. Oh, wait, babas. No, to us. No, to us. I know also. I know baba. Have you guys heard of the soft white underbelly channel? um disturbing stuff on there no what is that I mean, is should i not look it up is it kind of creepy let me let apollo out real quick hang on boys Oh, you guys are getting blinded out by the by the sun. My bad. Yeah, that sounds alarming.
This gold is looking nice, man. But we'll see how the hour closes, right? And then potentially if this hour closes, like either breaking above into our range or testing those highs, I think we'll be in like a good position for like those short term buys. Get us up into like the imbalance fill here, potentially imbalance fill here. But of course, like once we start getting up into these highs or even testing these highs here, we definitely should be more than likely looking for some type of secure and float because what can we do? The same thing that we looked on the downside, right? The inverted head and shoulders that we're seeing. What can we see here? You guys feel me? You guys see where I'm going with this? See where I'm going with this? Hold up. See what I'm saying? Like that is a possibility, right? And then what can we do? Then potentially we see a reaction there, negative, and then we can follow that higher time frame trend that people have been talking about, which is bearish on gold. Um, one group I'm in is looking for a short here. Maybe, man. I mean, it's it's not off the table. Like I said, it could contain a short here, but I'm looking at a different perspective. I'm looking at the inverted head and shoulders. I'm looking at my 200 MA, and I'm looking at one hour demand being tapped and getting a positive reaction out from it. Uh, can we talk about oil lower time frame head and shoulders? Uh, how how low of a time frame? You're talking about this right here. Boom, boom, boom. Um, I wouldn't consider it a head and shoulders yet. My only reason being is I like to see my head and shoulders like this. I like to see boom. Or sorry, this this. Here, I'm gonna I'm gonna draw with my arrows over here. I like to see some type of shoulder be created and then have a fall off. Right, like a pretty decent fall off. Go to demand, come up, break highs, fall back down into that same demand, push back up, fail to break out of demand, and then continue down. So for this one, like the only thing that it's missing is I would say like I would have liked to see like a, like a pullback right like not not just this i would have liked to see at least this then go up then come back down to that area come up and then fail to break um i've learned to wait for confirmation either way yeah 100 bro that's gonna help you out that would take you really far uh they do interviews on people who have gone through different situations like kidnap bad experience like abuse reminds me of how the world is so it's crazy dude um, tell me, are you guys, okay, so this was my perspective kind of growing up when I really like found like, I almost want to say like, like the Zen in my life, if you will, like that, like that peacefulness, right? Like I didn't find that until I stopped watching the news. Does anyone else feel that way? Like, I feel like the news is always just so negative that like when I turned off like the social media, like I kind of just detoxed from the world and just focused on what's around me, there was way more good than bad. Right? They kept trying to paint the, the, the picture of the world as, as bad, as angry, as dark, as evil. But around me, like, I chose to surround myself through, like, love, light, and happiness, right? Um, and I, that really changed my life when I, when I took that perspective on. That, that really helped me. That detox was next level. Um, and now I'm, that was, like, six months to a year. Um, that was like six months to a year doing that. I went kind of like solo. Uh, but interesting after combination ability with lower profits. Yeah. But the, yeah, but the higher probability, lower profits. Exactly. Exactly. And that's why it's like, you'll see sometimes on the channel, like I'll take trades that are like very, very tiny stop losses because it's like, dude, like there's no reason I shouldn't throw $50 or I shouldn't throw $100 at this because if I do, there's a possibility that I make four or $500 off of this one dumb position, right? All because it's showing me something that has a possibility, even if it's a low possibility, the high risk will, will take over. It'll take the wheel. Uh, you're going to full port the buy? <laughs> Why? Is it because it's full port Friday? Uh, you're down 243 this week on my personal, so it was a rough week for you as well. It was, why you, was most of the losses was... Um, were most, were most of the losses from bots or just personal trading? I think I heard Lance tell me you guys kind of like like uh, cleaned up all your bots. I think you're only focusing on one now. All personal, got you. 
And Blink said 50 to 100 on a potential 1 to 5 is totally worth it. Yeah, man. I mean, that's a great trade. Even, even if it takes all day to play out, right? Or even if it takes all, like, into Asian session to play out. You know, so... There's a couple of things we can think about. Uh, but guys, really, really good conversations. It's coming up on uh, 10.30. I did stay up for London session last night. I'm, I'm only operating off of, like, a little nap. Um, you know, so forgive me. I'm really, really exhausted. But the conversations really kept me going for, like, this last hour. Um, you know, so thank you so much for just applying feedback and just being a part of the community and kind of, you know, just being open and vulnerable, um, you know, to the community so we can all continue to grow and everything like that together. Um, again, if you guys haven't already joined the Discord, join the Discord, verify yourself, all that good stuff. I look forward to hearing from you guys. Um, whether you guys want to join the Elite Discord, again, I'll go over it real quick with you guys. Um, give you the little, the little pitch, if you will. Uh, let me check this out real quick. Go. What you guys get is basically going to be um the boot camp so again we're going to be hosting one tomorrow morning so if you guys haven't already you know hopped into um the elite discord we are going to be hosting a small one tomorrow it's going to be more of a back testing session for me um and i'm going to take you guys through it um you know from top down and then we could do like q a's after and maybe help some of the members out but i just want to give you guys that perspective of like how i approach a losing week and how i can come back from it um you know and and, and the steps that i take okay so Again, you guys can uh, find the old boot camps going over my entire strategy top down, um, you know, find out more about myself, find out more about my mentality and things of that nature, um, all within the previous boot camp. And then, like I said, tomorrow morning at I think I'm going to do it at like 9 a.m. PST. Um, that is when I'm going to host the uh, boot camp or back testing session, whatever you want to name it tomorrow. And then I will upload that also in here. Um, all my elites will get in there for free. Don't even worry about it. It's just included in the membership. Um, and then as you guys know, like once you guys view the boot camps and understand the strategy full, you guys then should be able to kind of digest my daily analysis. So even if it's not fully um, presented or developed yet, you guys can wait for it to develop and you guys know exactly how I entered the trade. So you guys know exactly how you can enter that position as well. Um, and if you're looking for step-by-step -step, uh, trades and things like that, which is quote unquote signals, you guys can go ahead and check out the step-by-step -step trading. My goal with my signals, you guys, it isn't just stop loss entry and things like that. Um, it is actually um, more of management. I focus heavily on management and, you know, the probabilities and I explain exactly what I'm looking at um, and, you know, why I get in, how I get in, how I manage the trade. Um, you know, so of course we did have a bad week this week, kind of hurt our record a little bit, but we still are super positive. 39.17, so we're not really tripping there. Um, but again, that boot camp this weekend is going to be huge. A lot, a lot of value for you guys. Um, and we'll kind of get back into next week just full-fledged firing you know what i mean so um sunday exclusive live streams as well so not only you guys gave me on saturday with the boot camp you're also gonna get me on sunday this week um this one's cool i like to go over the higher time frames with you guys so you guys get an understanding of what i'm seeing uh going into the new week and then so that way we can actually kind of make smaller time frame decisions with what we see on the higher time frames okay really sets us up for success throughout the week uh so again we'll knock that out on friday as well and then uh, the general elite, obviously, all you guys get to mingle with one another and, you know, really have a good time and enjoy yourselves and, you know, ask questions, be curious and just understand, guys, like everyone's on their own part of the journey. I'm still on my own journey. I'm not here to say I'm 100% trader. I'm not here to say I'm perfect. I'm here to say that I'm real. I have a skill set. I'm here to share with you guys what's worked for me. Um, and even if you guys could take one thing out of my journey and apply it to yours and it helps you and it gets you to that next level, so be it. Okay. Um, there's just so much value going on in the group for $50 a month, guys. So again, if you do want to check it out, it's going to be right over here in this area. And um, if you guys are looking for the lifetime option, which is going to double in January, um, you guys can go ahead and check out the elite membership. It is pinned up um, at startedbroke.com. And it's going to be $300 in January. It goes up to $600. And um, I think I'm going to leave it up for the weekend. How about that? I leave it up for the weekend. I take it down. I know I've been saying I'm going to take it down for a while, but it's like we keep getting people interested in it. And it's like want i want to make sure you guys have the opportunity right um so it's there if you guys want it and like i said elites quote me on this make sure this thing gets taken down sunday bro make sure this thing gets taken down sunday because i've been saying it for like a week and a half i'm gonna take it down so we need to make that happen um and then currency yeah i got time for you brother don't worry um i, I just wanted to make sure i got off before like 10 30 because i was like bro i'm gonna die by 11. <laughs> Uh, what gets taken down? It's going to be my lifetime. So here, I'll kind of pull up the site real quick. Hang on. Here. This over here. Over here. 
all right cool yeah yeah so this is what we're we're working with so you guys come to the site and then you have the monthly membership which is the link i normally just send out you know regularly in here and then there's the lifetime one uh so it's just a one-time checkout and it's basically like you're prepaying for six months at this current rate um and you just you could do it through paypal through here if you guys want to do crypto you could hit me up via instagram or discord we could do a crypto payment um if you guys want to do what else do we do we did cash app um we could also do cash app too but the best i think the like the monthly oh it's way better than the monthly bro it's way better than the monthly and it's gonna double that's the thing it's gonna double because i'm gonna raise my prices on the monthly um in january that's always been the plan i just wanted to get as many people as i can in for the cheapest price possible and i wanted the testimonials to come in so like i have proof that i know what i'm doing and that people could be successful in my group um so again if you guys want to check out or you're skeptical about what i'm saying and you think it's just all you know blown smoke uh, up the uh you know what uh you guys can go ahead and check out what the members themselves are actually saying they're all verified as you can see elite members um and just read man everyone's is a little different and their stories are absolutely amazing as you can see day three in the elites passed their funded next 6k challenge um homeboy over here joe's just been smashing since day one uh 300 he paid for the lifetime he's up 1200 in profit most instantly so it's been been nice guys it's been an absolutely amazing time in the elite and we're just getting started and we're just gonna keep growing man hey who hey whoa 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 yo waggy with the five gifted again going degenerate today i love it tv soul strong fx mike bray a lung and uh nick hill um welcome to the to the group man thank you that means you guys are going to be able to see us on sunday for our exclusive sunday live stream now that you guys are members of the channel uh, so that is super exciting guys super super exciting so everyone get some w's in the chat before we get out of here let's uh let's get some w's in there for waggy coming through with the gifteds oh no he didn't have the gifts a lot the gifted allowed so waggy comes in here and he takes care of uh some people every so often i feel like his his uh his normal his normal rate has been at least once a week he'll come in and gift about five subs so shout out to the man the myth the legend mr waggy man is awesome. Alrighty, guys. So yeah, sweet. Um, wait, is it allowed for him now? Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. You're gonna have to ask him. Blake, did you uh, did you update your thing? Oh no, the music died again. Oh no, it's back. David G just subscribed and uh, Home just subscribed. Welcome, guys. Appreciate you. Oh. Hey, what? He just did another five. This guy's a menace. I hope you. I hope you. Oh, please tell me he gets one. Please tell me he gets one. No. <laughs> Yo! No! <laughs> Damn. I wanted to see him get one. <laughs> that was a waggy man. 10 on the day. That's crazy. 10 on the day. I only win things I don't want. That's funny. Better luck next time. <laughs> he said GG. Check this out. Well, shoot, man. That's a great way to, to end it, bro. Nice little 10, 10 gifted subs there today. Appreciate you, Waggy. Everything you do for the community, man. It doesn't go unnoticed, that's for sure. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait, what the heck is going on? Yo, Blank, turn that on. Hurry, Blank, turn it on. <laughs> Holy, just turn it on. It, it, we're, we're smashing right now. Just turn it on. You guys all got time. The luck of the draw. <laughs> Holy crap. Holy crap, man. Yo. <laughs> Yo. Holy crap. He said, 
<laughs> he said one last time. <laughs> Bro, he's going off right now. Guys, all of you guys that are getting these gifted subs, you're all getting into the Sunday live stream. Like, you, re you realize that, right? <laughs> like, W's. I, like, this guy's going off right now. Yeah, or you could just gift one specifically to him, man. You're crazy. Crazy waggy. Holy crap, man. Yeah, super generous guy, dude. That's one of the elite members, too. It's crazy. Crazy. You don't know how to do it on YouTube? Yeah, I think if you, there's something that if you click it, it says like, oh, turn these on so you don't miss it next time. But yeah, no, that was awesome, man. <laughs> Nick said you receive uh you received an email saying I got a membership. Yeah, you did, man. Uh Waggy took care of the community, guys. So, you know, give him let's give him some big W's in the chat one last time, guys, before I get out of here. He said card declined, sorry. <laughs> Thanks for the attempt, bro. We appreciate it, man. Regardless. Don't don't you stress about it. Dang, Sheila with the W, Kareem with the W. Ink with the W, Nick with the W, Hila with the W. Um, it doesn't always like YouTube. Uh, who was I pay playing with last time and I got the client? Oh, it was um, it was Joe. <laughs> you guys were like, you guys were like, um, <laughs> you guys were like doing like what? It started like ten, then twenty five, and then like all of a sudden Joe just hit you with like the hundo. Did I miss something? Uh, did everyone get? Um, no, not everyone got. What he does is when he gifts the subs, you guys, he just gives everyone. Um, it's like a, a luck of the draw. It's kind of like a random like uh, raffle type thing. And it just anyone that has it accepted or turned on, it allows you guys to be members. Um, you know what I mean? So definitely, definitely. Uh, like you guys will see. Basically, <clears throat> basically what it is. He said, notice it's Fridays. I do notice it's Fridays. Uh, no, just basically what it is, is like, you just get little perks. So now you guys have like these. So anyone that just became a member, you guys have like all these emojis now that you guys can use. Um, and then you guys also get access to like occasionally, like unless you paid for the high one, whatever. But um, most of the time I just let the YouTube members that support me also come into my Sunday live streams, which are normally about an hour. So like if you guys could show up and awesome. Um, but if you guys can't, like, don't stress it, right? Because, you know, the elites will get the notes and then you guys will have, like, the, um, you guys will have, like, the rework of it, right? Or, or not the rework, the re, the re-upload, re-upload. Um, but I have a call scheduled here, um, super soon with currency. So I'm going to go ahead and end the stream right now, guys. Again, thank you so much, Waggy. Like, honestly, bro, for, like, all your support and everything you've just done for the channel. Um, I kind of read a glimpse of your message, so I kind of get, I, I, I kind of, I kind of get the idea, like the gist of it, right? So, um, I'll respond to you right now, and then I have a call to take after that. So again, if anyone else is interested in joining the Elite Discord or anything like that, um, you guys are more than welcome to go ahead and click that Discord link right there. Uh, last call, last opportunity for you guys, if you are trying to purchase the Lifetime Membership, the Elite Membership is at StartedBroke.com. And you guys purchase the lifetime membership of $300 in January. The price goes up to $600. So jump on that while you can. Um, this weekend is when it goes away. Um, for anyone that is joining the elite group right now, um, remember you guys have the past boot camps. You guys are going to have the boot camp tomorrow. Um, and pretty much all the recordings will be in there. We are 39 and 17 right now. So our record's not terrible, but it, you know, we have some work to do, right? We had took four losing trades back to back um, this week. So I got to kind of go back, retest um and back test everything and see where i can improve obviously like on oil like i feel like i was starting to get out of my my hump or my groove or whatever i was starting to get out of like that little hump that i was in um for sure off that oil trade it just so happened to saw me out by one pip so i'm not mad at that by any means um you know we just roll with the punches and we'll come back stronger than ever next week on monday um so welcome all the new members thanks to waggy you guys um remember look out on the community tab um look out for that you guys are going to get the opportunity to come into the sunday exclusive live stream 
Um, for all my elites, I want you guys to look out for the update on the boot camp. I'm thinking about doing it at 9 a.m. PST tomorrow. Okay. Um, so it's about an hour and a half after the normal stream starts. And I'll update you guys. I'll make sure I've, I make an announcement in the general elites. And then that way you guys aren't left out. And then of course, like even if you do miss it, we will have a recording, but it's basically just gonna be a huge back testing session on how I back test. And then I could answer any questions um, or show you guys more examples or whatever the case is. Like whatever questions you guys have, like I'll stay live with you guys and help you guys out. Um, but again, guys, thank you each and every one of you guys for all the support and love. We really do appreciate it. If you guys are trying to get funded with Funded Next and you guys wanna use the code PYAY, 5% off, you can go ahead and do that. Apollo is going crazy outside right now. So I'm gonna go capture the boy um <laughs> i love you guys man i'll see you too or uh, sorry i will see you guys all sunday if you're an elite and monday if you guys are um coming back to the live stream hope i see you guys there don't forget to subscribe turn on post notifications have a good one guys take care